Hey, beautiful people. I hope that you're having a happy Wednesday. And I can tell you that my schedule is so off right now. Hang on for a second. Okay, let's see. My schedule is so off. Hey, Asabi, how are you doing? <sighs> how are you doing? Uh, triple darkness, what's good? There's a lot going on, y'all. So I just titled this my thoughts real quick, and I am going to have to probably do this dream. Hey, VS. I'm probably going to have to do this stream in a couple parts because I am uh, about to get on the road and start my weekend. But there's a couple things I want to talk about. And it kind of sucks. I can't finish the whole stream right now because I want to give you all my thoughts on something. I was in somebody's live stream earlier. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I was in Lady Nika's live stream. And I really wish I had time to go over that live stream. But I will go over a few things. And then maybe I'll come back when I get some more time and play it play some of it but for me it's just the ignorance of people all right <sighs> it's just the ignorance for people so i'll get into it as much as i thank you vs i enjoyed you over on treasure lane live stream which i still have to get through there was a lot to that hey daniel hey robin hey evelyn hey you guys so i'm not going to finish that i want to play a part of it how am I doing? Edgar, I'm doing okay. What's good, Pizarro? I'm doing okay. Actually, let me see how much time I have. And I might, might play that live stream. But I'm going to tell you guys this. If you missed it, Lady Nika went live. You guys know Lady Nika. And somehow, my question, I did a couple of live streams on marijuana that some people feel a certain kind of way about. And I really don't understand why those people didn't just tell me that they felt that kind of way before I did that. I mean, during that live stream, because I'm always open to a conversation. Now, what I don't appreciate, what I don't appreciate is people, I generously share my story. And then I have a lot of people telling me, oh, I'm not on drugs, I'm, I'm not a lot of things. And that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much what has me in my feelings a little bit right now. And I don't like to stream when I'm in my feelings because then I end up just, it, it's all over the place. Let me tell you guys this. I don't really care, how is it, what a bunch of strangers think about my journey. It's not for everybody. It's not even for, I mean, I have a particular audience that I'm catering to and the rest of the people is just using it as commentary. Okay. You're looking scrumptious with your new hairstyle. Thank you. Hey, AKD. So I'm not sure how much of this stream I'm going to play. And you, you better not. I got busy, but I was going to talk to you. He's going to talk to me about what? I'll tell you what, you guys. Let me get my notepad and we'll go over a part of this live stream. I'm dealing with some people in the sector that loves to say I'm not a part of their sector. All right. But then when I go off on them, it's kind of, I, I, I really can't with some people. I'm not talking to everybody that's in my chat. If you don't like what I'm saying, all you got to do is leave. And this isn't for Lady Nick or anybody else. But if I play a part of this live stream, you'll see what I'm talking about. I have a bunch of people that think they know me and they really don't. And I feel like I'm speaking to like a wall. When I did that live stream, I did not say anything about marijuana being a gateway drug. But how is that? How does that have some people more upset than the things that's actually going on in their sector? Okay, there is no way that conversation can have you guys more upset than people doxing each other, showing up at people's houses and all that kind of stuff. And all I did was a live stream. So if you come in over here with your feelings and your emotions, this is the wrong place for it because I'm really not going to cater to that. I'm going to say what I need to say. And if you don't like it, uh, I live the life that I overcame. And that's all I'm sharing with you guys. That's it. With that being said, let me share this for educational phrase purposes only. And uh, I'll play a part of this stream for you guys. And if we don't get through it, we'll end it and then I'll start it again at another time. All right. I think I have it set up. And you guys, because, oh, wait, where's the stream at? Hang on, I have to pull it back up. Hey, Catherine, I see you guys. Let me set this back up. Uh, 
All right, let me see if I can get to it. They are hypocrites and you are black sector, be proud of it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just sobriety sector, that's all I claim. Because I have my, I have my reasons. But did I come from the black sector before I started visiting content creators in the B sector? Absolutely. Oh, wait a minute. If for some reason it's blocking, let me see. I'm trying to share it, but my screen is blocking it. Let me try again. Share screen. Or am I just forgetting how to do it? Because it's not showing up. Oh, here it is. I'm going to change for educational for use purposes only. Please drop the link to Lady Nico's last channel. Again, I'm prob I mean, last live stream. I'm probably not going to get through the live stream, but I'm going to uh, just do this first part. And again, my comment is more for people in the chat and that was on the panel. It has absolutely nothing to do with Lady Nika. I actually think that her opinion was fair enough. Let me just play it. Hey, Yolanda. I hope you're okay, uh, misunderstood. If you see this on the replay, girl, take care of yourself. We ain't nothing happening for you, but I want to tell you, misunderstood, you're not ready to have drug conversations. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what am, Lady Nika? What? She not. I was. Our room? Well, you no, know, but I mean, you on it. I told y'all I'm not feeling. I'm not sure to shit the rest of your fucking. Well, why do you feel that way, Lady Nika? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you. Uh huh. Tried to have a conversation about marijuana, and she knew that the people she had on the panel, some of them did deal with marijuana, right? MJ is what uh -huh. her her ass. If you was down in the chat trying to convince people on the poll that she put in the chat that. You know, marijuana ain't good for you. It's it's just as bad as every other uh, drug. Uh, she's just, I mean, she just was not willing to receive that marijuana is actually used sometimes for medicinal purposes, okay? Some people, and it's not one of those drugs. Well, I ain't never seen a person full of weed go steal meat out your freezer. I ain't never seen nobody on marijuana walking around two or three o'clock in the morning, eyes bugged out and wouldn't do anything for a little piece of change. I ain't never seen that. So you cannot classify marijuana in the same category as methamphetamines or any other hard hitting drug. Marijuana is a plant. And she really was not willing to accept that people felt like marijuana was not that bad. And then to add insult to injury, misunderstood had to say that uh, uh, marijuana was just as bad as alcohol. I was done with the conversation then. I said, girl, alcohol and marijuana is not the same. They don't have the same effects. You cannot say that people that smoke weed, that that, that they, you know, alcohol would do them just as bad. She was trying to put alcohol and marijuana on the same me? even. All right. There's a lot. Some of this I'm reacting to it with you guys since I didn't get to see all of it. And um, oh, thank you, Noble. I never said it was a gateway drug. All right. I never said that. I asked a simple question so we could talk about it because uh, there are some people who will say that it's a gateway drug. OK, so that's not something that I just came up with because I felt like saying it to piss some people off. But it's interesting that. Uh, that that's got people so caught up because I didn't say that. So make that clear. But I'm not saying that it's not one. I'm just saying that it, it just depends. All right. Playing field and they're not the same. She really yeah. wanted to say what she wanted to hear and she wasn't willing to allow people to have their opinion and maybe she agreed to disagree. She wanted to Little. switch how you think. Yep. This was the one that Pizarro was up there. Girl, yeah, yeah, when we had the key conversation, and she, she said, said oh, I'm in live, child. I don't know. The shame, honey. 
You said it was boring, girl. I was on the damn edible the whole time we had a week. That was not that oh. It was not boring. She took, she took her edible already when she linked. Oh, okay. Because she was on that talking too, but she should have stayed up because it did get good because you cussed out the girl Echo. Oh, I was wondering how I got off the live. What happened? You must have dropped me at the end. She yeah, because she, she, she was doing too much. She was doing too much. You missed it because she was doing too much. She had a went on. Oh no, somebody at the door. Who had the door? Me. That's so me. <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay, this is where it gets ignorant. Thank you, Lester, for the super chat. I really appreciate you. And I do need to change this title because I am reviewing somebody's stream and I do want them to know. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish the stream, but um I'll keep listening to it, but already I'm just feeling a certain kind of way. But I hold my thoughts. I can't. I can't be on the stream long. I just want to say something real quick while you guys are on this subject. Okay. Uh, with Mu, because I and my thumbs were getting tired. I have always said I think she was on something like pills. I don't think she was on that head. And I'm gonna tell you why because whenever she talks about drugs and alcohol, I have a brother that was on drugs heavy. So when you have somebody that's on drugs, you know the stages and stuff. Like you can tell, like just the way she talks about drugs and stuff. I'm just like, I think she was on some kind of pills. Maybe she was mixing it with alcohol here and there. The whole thing okay. with, with the fake bracelet from the hospital. But sister, 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 come on, sister, I, you know my next question. Who the hell? Period, period, you know bitch. Period, lady, okay. Nika. You see how I got you that now? So I'm gonna Thank you very much. Welcome to the membership, Shaquem. Welcome. So I'm gonna tell you what I think about why she, why she does that. The same reason why she's come out here with her um, with her resume on YouTube and has done a lot of weird, crazy shit. Have you seen the things that she's done on here? Yeah. Okay, so but I just would never want to be missing nothing like so low brow. And and I understand that, but sometimes when people are sick mentally, they sometimes people are addicted to um, like some people are addicted to. Uh, attention. Some people are addicted to lying. They're compulsive liars. Addiction just is not the actual drug. And I think she said something maybe like when she was sleeping with her dog or her stuffed animal. She's done a lot of things to do that um, shock, shock radio thing. And I think it stuck with her. Uh. And, she rolled, and I think she rolled with it and it sort of got like into a place where she was like, uh, uh and she's been rolling with it. I do Just like she was fake cooking in the kitchen, meat that she's not going to eat. She does a lot of performative things. I do not think I I live in DC, Miami, and Atlanta. I've seen a method. I do not think she was on meth. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all something without trying to curse. And I don't know how to change the title while I'm live. I was trying to do that right now. Um thank you, Lester, for the super chat. Hey S. Hutchison, and I'll pin a link if you guys want to come out since I don't have that much time. But let me tell y'all something. I feel like this. I'm not interested in you guys' life. And what's interesting, I don't know who that person is, AKD, nor do I give a damn. I think that it's stupid. And I'm so glad that some women are pressed talking about what I look like, which means that I must not be on drugs. That just shows me that, number one, like I said, my commentary is not for everybody, but I know what the hell I'm talking about. But some things, it's just a conversation because I don't have the damn answers. But to say that a per you can look at a person that you haven't even met, we're talking about on YouTube, and tell if they could use drugs or not. Um, some, some people need to just, just not. Shut the hell up because no one's going to come out here. There might be some people that come out here lying about some story. I don't need to do that. You guys aren't super chatting me, cash up me and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for the ones that do. But I'm coming out here sharing something that I went through. Now, it's not my fault that some people are overly invested in my life. And I, I don't care. It's so weird how closely they want to pick me apart and scrutinize me. At least I took the time out to change my life. I don't, I didn't like the direction it was going and I simply changed it. I don't get on my community wall and uh, post a bunch of inspirational stuff that I don't even live. Like some people that I can mention in the sector, okay? That uh, I'm like, no, I chose to do something different. So how does that have everybody up in their feelings? Wait a minute. Why is that person in my chat? That's the person I, why is that person in my chat? Am I in my feelings right now? Why I want to blast them? Because your opinion has nothing to do with me and your opinion isn't a fact. So I don't know who you are, ma'am. 
to our ignorant asses. Is it, it, it? And the thing is this. I think that people try to piss me. I was not in my feelings at all. I'm not talking about you, Lady Nika. I don't know if you heard me earlier. And I wasn't going to review the stream right now. I was going to do it later because I don't like to review things when I am feeling a certain kind of way about it. But am I upset? Yes, I am upset because I was in my Zen moment and then people interrupted my space. But I think that it's ignorant. I think that it's very ignorant for you guys. All Everybody has done stuff up on this app, okay? And... How dare anybody try to judge me and keep me to a fucking past that I don't belong to anymore? I'm living my life today and I really don't give a damn what you or any other person in my chat think at the end of the day. So you guys can come up, but I can't guarantee I'm going to be the best hostess right now. Hang on. I thought I dropped the link. You guys don't see a link in the chat? Uh, hold on. And if you want to have a conversation, you can hit the link, but please don't spam my chat. Um, whoever you are, sister, whatever your name is, I don't know you. But what I think is weird is that somebody that calls her a sister that you know so much about me, but I don't know a damn thing about you. Nor do I care enough about you to ask all those questions. I, I, I feel like this. Listen, because I'm trying to do something else. Why are they trying to bring me back? Why are they trying to bring me back? I'm not going. For I saw it as such as in. How you doing as such as in? I'm not going. Oh, you don't see a link? Okay, hang on. Let me drop it again. Maybe. So that's why I don't need to stream right now. I don't. I, Pizarro, I'm capable of understanding, but. Pizarro, you were on the panel and you didn't say, uh, let me, let me not, let me drop um, a link. And if one of my moderators can drop uh, Lady Nika's live stream, I got her blocked. I got who blocked? Oh, maybe I could just see her because we're on StreamYard. Who do I have blocked? Leave me so. So, so let me ask you guys this. You don't feel that we can have a conversation about something without a person actually going through it. I don't smoke marijuana, but I thought it was going to be a good conversation, but it's got a lot of people in their feelings, right? But the one thing that I over that I'm in recovery for, I will never put marijuana in that same category. The government doesn't even put it in the same cat category. Methamphetamines happens to be a Schedule Two drug. Uh, marijuana is a Schedule One. Okay. Hey. I may not be that nice right now. No, you're not. Don't let people uh, utilize you as content. By mm -hmm. getting you into your feelings, and this is what they do. It is a conscious strategy. Hold on one second. I'm, I want to make sure this is, I don't know this. Uh, hello? It's me. It's, it's, the, it's the person that you're playing on the content. I need to chase the, um, oh, thank you, Pizarro. She didn't need to do that. I was trying to, um, Thank you. Oh, go ahead, Pizarro. How do I change the title while I'm live? Hey, ODS. Because you have me, um, you blocked me a while ago, misunderstood. So you can't see me in chat. Okay, let me let ZX finish and then I'll I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. All right, I'm not going to stay long, but I do want to add that um, it is um, a gateway drug. Uh, marijuana is listed as a gateway drug because you lower your inhibitions it is the drug that most people start with and that means gateway you start with this or or alcohol and then you graduate to harder drugs that would be a fact so i will agree with that assessment second of all congratulations on your sobriety and the completing of your program and i wish you the best in all of your endeavors don't let 
yeah, you, you, you and Don Cato are my, y'all, y'all my family. Um, don't allow people to, uh, distract you and use you again and again and again when they really don't want to see you happy. They want to, they want to keep you where you were. And the only way to move forward is to shake them and leave them where they at. And then the question becomes, as I get ready to drop down, how many programs have they completed? I've been seeing crack lips. I've been seeing a lot of broken people out here. Um, what I can say about you is that at least you took the proper steps to fix the things that were right in your life. And I'm proud of you. And you don't have to be a part of nobody sector. You ours. You are the sobriety sector, but you black sector. Keep your head up. Be proud of it. Because the B sector is just another group of dysfunctional Negroes as far as I'm concerned. Keep your head up, man. All right? I got your back. Have a good day. Thank you, ZX. Can you guys still hear me? Can you, uh, cause I'm not on the screen right now. I can hear you. Okay, go ahead. I just wanted to come up to say that I never made you content. You made yourself content. And I've been watching YouTube for many, many years and have seen your content. So when have we ever had a conversation? Because no. I don't know you, ma'am. No, what I'm uh, what I'm saying is that you're on what you call YouTube, so your content. Regardless if I'm on YouTube or not, you guys only see a portion of my life. So but I'm gonna go on mute question? and let you. I'm gonna go on mute because we'll hear the rest of the stuff that you had to say. And I love. Uh, you're entitled to your wrong opinions. And and that that's what I dropped up. I came up here just to say that. Like, when is it? That's why subscribers like me don't really hit panels is because when we do have opinions, it's almost like, oh, just stay in the chat, stay in the chat. It's like, you can only type but so much. I'm just going off of an opinion. I didn't break you down. I didn't say like, oh, fuck that bit. I didn't do any of that. I strictly just said my opinion. I've heard you say your opinion about plenty of people on here. And Number one, I don't give comment. I, I give basic commentary. You're not going to act like my commentary compares to what you said. You are entitled to your opinion, but you're entitled to Oh, wait a minute. I messed something up. Hold on. Uh, why is there two of me? But I'll drop down. I'm not going to, I don't want to um, interrupt your stream or anything. I'm just saying like, just some subscribers just have opinions. It's it's a sort of, I guess, a sticky place where when, and I feel comfortable with hopping on Lady right. Nico's stream. So it's like, when are we allowed to come up and say our opinions sometimes? You're entitled to your opinion, but not your own facts, okay? So you don't get to just make something up about somebody. What I find is interesting, I really think that some of you are overly invested, and I definitely think that you're overly invested. This is not the first time you tried to throw some slick shade at me when I was on a panel, but you know what? I, because I can see the stuff when I'm on a panel, but I choose not to engage with people that already have their minds made up on me. Not everybody's going to like you. And I get that. But I'm not really trying to convince you guys to like me. Some of your minds are already made up and that's fine. But what you're not going to do is tell me what I was addicted to and all that kind of stuff. You okay. can tell yourself that, but those are just lies about me at this point. And that's okay. fine. So if yep. you want to lie about me, then do you, boo. But I, I didn't say anything about you like your personal look i said i think you're a pretty girl which is the reason why i was like it sort of threw me off with that so that's just my opinion so it's not a what you call like a sideways comment i'm saying i think you're a pretty girl i think that you have a lot of great things going on and things like that and i'm actually looking at you recently all of the great things you've accomplished i was not there tearing you down i was saying my opinion and there has to be a space where subscribers can just say their opinion and then that's all. And I'm, I'm not fighting you for that. I do think that, and actually, this is not even a bad conversation, so I will tone it down. I'm just in my feelings right now. It's okay. I was oh. too I was too earlier because, you know, when you come from the gym, you're like hyped up. So it sounded like I was like, Rah! I wasn't even feeling like any kind of, I've never felt any kind of way towards you. I play with Pizarre about her being your friend and, all this and all that, but to be honest with you, I'm 
always in your clouds, but I can't drop down because you have me blocked. But oh, like, I'll unblock you. I didn't realize that you were blocked and you could have been blocked from a while back. I don't usually It was a people. long, you blocked me from a long, like around that in visa, you blocked me from a long time ago. So what it's did like, you do? I was just asking you about, I was asking about the ring thing. I just wanted to know about the ring, but you were like, oh, you're too invested. I said, okay, well, I get, and then you blocked me. So it's the other thing is, and you, you do put, you've put a lot of things on here as content. And sometimes people are just going to have opinions that you're not going to like. Okay. Let me, let me say this because that, that is going to come up and I wish you would stay up while I played this part that you said, um, okay. but you, but do you want to or no? If not, I'll give the comment. Sure, sure. Okay, let me play it. Uh, because the ring does come up. Um, what difference does it make what you guys think about it? I never got it back. And if it was only a few dollars, it wouldn't be commentary. But do you guys hear me talking about that shit? If I blocked you from a while ago, I don't remember. But I still think that some people are too invested because that wasn't even something. I told somebody that in confidence and they brought it to YouTube. And a lot of the things that you guys know is because I would talk to people and they would they would come live with it and then I would come live with it. Okay. So, okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. It's not like you're just on stream like saying everything like, oh, I was doing like it's more. No, and I would tell certain people, especially ones that called themselves my friends, you know, and, and it's not just one person. Damn, I told you that as a friend, you know, blah yeah. blah blah. Just I'm thinking. Kidding that we're going to have a conversation. A lot of people I met like a while ago and then it came to YouTube and then me trying to explain and all that stuff is how y'all got a lot of the information. Let me find, I just lost where I had that stream. Oh no, wait, I think that's still, okay. Let me reshare it. Cause I think this is the part where you come up. I'm sorry. If you guys are trying to get my attention, put a question mark before the sentence. Cause I'm not looking at the chat. And I'm going to hop down because I have um company coming, but okay. I just let you know, I don't hate you. I don't have any hard feelings toward you. I think you are a pretty girl. I have always said that. Um, I think where you're going now in the direction I actually am more interested now than I was before in, you know, being in your chats and stuff like that. So if you want to unblock me, you can. I will. All right. I will. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can you guys see her? Can you drop me? Oh, oh, can I drop you? Sure, sure, sure. Can you guys see her in the chat? I can know. I didn't know that she was um, blocked because um, whatever. Let me tone it down so we can have a conversation. I'm going to tone it down so we can have a conversation. You guys feel free to express yourselves. And if I, if you want to ask me something or you don't like something I said, just let me know and we'll have a decent conversation about it. Okay. You can't see her? Okay. You see her, Rodney? Okay. I'll try to block her as a stream. Unblock her if I can. I don't know. I'll try. I can't multitask. Let me play this real quick. This is educational for these purposes only. Mods, please drop the link to Lady Nika's last live stream, and you guys can watch that live stream in full. It actually was a good live. Until I, until, except for that part. That part, I would, you know, whatever. All right. Share my screen. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so I think she just, and I think I started at the right spot. I'm just telling you what I know. She was not because Meth, and they speak different once they're in recovery because Meth is one of the most grooming, addictive drugs mm -hmm. on the market. And any Meth will tell you it is not, weed is not even considered a drug to a recovering Meth. They wouldn't even say that. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I've said that before, and there's a couple of people in the chat that have agreed with me like over the years. I do not think she was on that. She was on that. Just like yeah, you know, Nicole finna be here in five, four, three. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I told them to go get him. She's lied about that. Thank you for coming up, uh, Voodoo. If you if you drop by mistake, the leak is being baby. But if you go, thank you so much for coming. She's lied about her age. She's lied about. I mean, there's so many things. Like if you really, really look at the lie, I think that one stuck with her because she was doing some really crazy. Um, like activities that sort of made it okay to be like, oh, well, I was on that. No, you're just, you might just have a problem that you're not addressing, but I don't think it was meth. I really Hold don't. On one minute. That's just me. I don't think it was either. I always no. said that, but I let her live, you know, her story. Uh, Uppity, 
Yeah, it's me. I'm sorry. Hi, TMO. I, I guess I was getting down as you were saying hello. So I want to say about the I, I, Is that the, all of it? I think. And, and Lady Meek, I'm on mute, but I do got a question for you. Okay. I think that's all of it. I'm not sure. I'll drop down. I'll go. drop down. It's okay. I'll drop down. No, you can keep saying what you need to say, sister. You were speaking. No, it's okay. Well, I think it's I'm in the middle of something. I was listening. I, I just don't want to be rude and interrupt. Go ahead, finish. Oh, That's please. an interesting yeah. perspective. No, I didn't know you thought that, sister. But I mean, yeah, I see what hey, you're saying. Jones. It needs to be addicted to attention as well. It's just that for me, I'm just like that would be the last thing I think I would want to be. Yeah, like when you when you talk to people like in mental health that are like compulsive liars and stuff like that, they'll say all kind of stuff and they'll really That's live true. it like it's true. They'll really live it like it's true and they'll live it to the end. And t until somebody really like she's never remember when everybody was like well where's the paperwork a meth head that's gone through recovery has like one piece of paperwork or something to be like okay you were admitted into this rehab and got out four years later we've watched Ness we've watched multiple people go through things real life that have come out of things that just don't look the same and I and Ness in no way was on meth I don't think that Ness was on meth but what I'm saying is that she was on coke Okay. Right, yes. and, and or pills i think she said that she was doing like mollies or something like that but either way what i'm saying is that you you know the drug you were on it's like you were on meth, and anybody that was on even a coke would would never ever in a million years say it's the same that weed is the same as alcohol i think she just says things for shock jock energy she's been doing it i didn't really click the links before but like i said i didn't have enough time my thumbs were tired i didn't want to type all that out but I just really think like it's enough now with like going along with her like her lies. Like it's okay to lie to your to everybody else, but when you start lying to yourself, that's really really sick. So mm. I don't I don't have a problem with her. I just think that she needs help, but it's not for drug abuse, drug counseling. She needs Bitch, they just said I need to do a live on this a conspiracy live on her. Okay, you know I'll what? be there. I'll be there. Wow, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Hey, you cuss me out. Uh, 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 you won't get you like it that then you can go out then you can go tell us how you really feel about her you enjoy those moments anyway go ahead sis. i'm not gonna tell y'all okay, this, this is when i this is when i knew she was i don't know some kind of i don't know she just struggled with. remember that ring that whole ring debacle and it's like she the, the guy was like that ring was not even worth me she was like i had a ring it was worth thirty thousand dollars it was like he was like no it wasn't it was just like maybe something hang on let me get let me and i'll unblock her as soon as I, you know, if somebody comes up on a on a link, I will, because I can't much test like that. Um, I'm gonna say this. I I think that I, a lot of my responses are because a lot of things that people say and they don't realize that I'm hearing them. There was so much shade that was given there, and I really feel that some people are overly invested because why are you guys more? I I don't know. I just I I just think this whole conversation is just bizarre. Honestly, especially the whole let's do a conspiracy live on MU. Ah ha, you dumb bitches. Like, are you guys that desperate for some? Never mind. I, I think that's dumb. And uh, I am feeling some kind of way about all of that. But um, not Lady Nika. I love Lady Nika. I adore Lady Nika. I'm not really mad at anybody. It's just the ignorance for me uh, that's got me feeling all this kind of way. I would not just come out and tell you guys that I was addicted to meth for you guys to make commentary about it. Why would I pick that of all drugs, you guys? Damn. You guys gotta do better. Something, maybe $200, $50 at the moment. Like, it's almost like everything she does is just for, she just wants the attention. And I, think I that I'm you know maybe that. something she's been through i, I mean because we're around the same age so it's like you know at some point it would be nice for you to just get help with that because that must be a really sad life living your lives over and over and over even if it's on the internet for a few hours so i hope she gets the help that she, the real help she needs and i'm not coming up here to bash her i'm just saying just get the real help you need just you know be truthful about whatever it is what your real problem is it's not drugs though mm. I think she has an anxiety, like with the whole shaky anxiety. It's it's something else. It's not drugs. And people that have been around her have said like something else is wrong. That conspiracy with her. part it's was not drugs. Oh, Lady Even Nico, Pastor okay. Wilson, everyone. They have the same story. They're like, I'm just mad right is, now, Lady Nico. Don't worry about it. Just not right. 
and I hope she just gets the, the rate was sixty thousand. It was sixty thousand. Okay, so yeah. nobody, but nobody has seen any proof. That's what I'm saying. I don't think anybody because I the white. It didn't. Envy say it wasn't though. Yeah, that's what you said. That's she what said saying. it wasn't, but she said that it wasn't. Remember, she's supposed to be taking it in the court, but she's not taking it in the court. She's taking everybody else to court, but that, but him, and he been the, was supposed to be the first person. She took exactly, the court, Coco, um, for her to get that rain back. But you know, we haven't heard anything about the rain anymore. So, right, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Cause no, I thought him. You said that she got it back finally. Then she talked about it was blaming it on UPS, but he said, "Yeah, she did have it back." I thought she confirmed she had it back. Did she not? Hell no, she ain't confirmed. No, she, she got that rain back. She said some shit about some about tracking numbers and. Girl, some about mail. I don't know, but she never got that ring back. And I was Crafter, always like, that girl, that's something. a family heirloom, and it costs that kind of money. Family. Who lets that go? It, it was like, taking some UPS in the desert. Remember, we kept saying it wasn't on her way. I said, well, go out the damn way. And I was like, you ain't doing nothing all day. You were going to yoga and taking the kids to school. Go get it from the other county because it was supposed to be sitting somewhere. And she wouldn't go get it. It was like, I don't know, Em, you have to clear that up. My thing is, I don't think that Em, you of course me, he she was been on that shit. Because when Don Cato put that video out of to Creature Feature, Baby, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she was on then, but she she was she was a zombie. That's she was, was looking. Let me take a break. Let me take a break and tell you guys something. <sighs> that is, it's not pink lipstick. It's um, you putting on pink lipstick. Pa Spam, you were really pissing me off today. No, it's champagne glam. Let me tell you this. Oh, uh, of course that person was in the chat, Lady Nika, but I never got the shit back, and it is what it is. Am I revisiting it? Am I revisiting the commentary? Nope. Because let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you what's got a lot of these people oppressed with these, um, all these things that I went through. I overcame it, and I'm still here, and they really thought that I was going to be taken out, but I'm still here. So if you guys don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. I'm still, when was the last time you spoke about this? Re I haven't, AKD. AKD. I haven't. I didn't get the shit back. I moved. I and I. I said you did not get it right. You're right, Lady Nick. I did not have the video to prove it. But this other person, that person that was in your chat, also said he had MU commentary for years. I think that's dumb. I think a lot of people met me for weird ass reasons. Nevertheless, I'm not going backwards to y'all stale ass storylines. No. All right. How did that even come up? I. I, I don't get it. I, and then it's here's the thing for me it's the whole why does MU get upset why does she go off but you guys know why I go off and at this point I'm just tired of it I was seriously enjoying my day now I did expect backlash over that stream not as much as I've gotten over the marijuana talk but I'm gonna have another one okay and it's not to offend anybody but this whole um Okay, she's not on drugs. She's on pills. She's drinking alcohol. You're not going to rewrite my story. So basically, since it's not true, if it's not true, that makes it a lie. That's not your opinion. That's a lie. So you basically went on a large platform to lie about misunderstood. For what? For what? A person that I don't even know, she said I had her blocked and I didn't even have this conversation. Like I don't even remember talking to her. Because I don't give a damn what you guys do when you're not on this app, okay? And and my life is public because I have been people's commentary for a long time. Not you, Lady Nika. I'm talking about people that I used to associate with. All right, I used to be people's commentary for a long time. And I think that a lot of people are in their feelings. But I didn't have all these problems before. And now we have it now because I, I, I'm on the right track doing what I'm supposed to do, okay? Let me let the rest play. And then I will um, read your comments. But why is it that people want to put me down and keep bringing up my past instead of talking about what I'm doing now? Because I could talk about a lot of you guys and a lot of your past, and I don't, but we all have one. And I'm not defending myself to anybody. I don't need to explain myself. When I do put receipts out, don't nobody believe them anyway. And nobody else put receipts out or call out their favorite content creators that's doing a lot of BS on this app. Now, I said what I said. And I'm not taking back the stuff that I said. So stand by what you say. If you have a certain belief and I don't agree with you, then I just don't agree with you. And you don't have to agree with me. But it's called a conversation. It doesn't mean to invest, investigate MU's life. Wait, don't. Um, why are you saying that? She's. I don't know if you guys are blocking those comments in my chat about Lady Nika, but no, we're not doing that. Stop.
Let me let the rest play in and I'll... Oh, I think Pizarro, I think she was on, uh, she's done pills here and there and alcohol because we saw her drink on camera in Bahamas. She drinks. She just doesn't tell that she drinks. Wait a minute. She's, she's never she seen there, me drink. That's another lie, sister. Where is the no, video no, of me drinking? Drink. You're a liar. That's You've never seen that. That is what he's saying. So that's what I'm saying. She's clear. So And on a cruise, she had a little drink. That's my point. Thank you, Rodney. And I know that so she, she has never I seen me drink in the Bahamas. Oh, I can't. I'm just getting upset. Oh, okay. I think she has, it's more just like, uh, and who doesn't? I mean, the point is, is like, get help for it. Like, just get over it. Like, it's, it's, it seems hard, but it, once you get into it, just get over your issue. Wait, you, you like to drink not. here and there. You've never done, probably met, maybe you have once or twice, but a meth head? Wow. Have you guys ever seen a meth head? Yeah. 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 Like, oh. They don't look. Yeah, sir, like I don't even a video. If, even a recovering one, even a recovering one does not look like her or act like her or say the things that she says so that's it i don't have nothing against her she i think she still has me black i, I like to keep it that way but that's because I, I just kept asking her a question i'm like are you ever ever in life been our producer receipt about any of the grandiose stories that you have like i don't okay. get the part for as long as she said she did it she didn't have any stories because i've seen people i knew i when i had a dcs case with a woman who was a successful rn and after only three months of smoking meth i could tell it in her mouth the sores and everything that's why i was kind of shocked that she didn't have any kind of like body markings yes the body yeah, markings. Well, I, well, yeah, well, but my thing is, it affects you differently because i mean we can it, it, that's the same well, yeah, but you was on it for like a decade so i would think you would be at that point it would be something and we well, what about timothy blaine but i was just like he got left timothy yeah, blaine looks like he's a recovering addict yeah and I, okay. we've all seen Breaking Bad, so I mean, <laughs> like it's right there. You can watch a show. Meth is not, like meth is not just like a lace, a lace chopper, a lace blunt, a cocaine lace blunt chopper. You smoke. It, the meth is hardcore, uh, one of the hardest core drugs in like uh, accessible on the market. It's the hardest. Some people, like even heroin addicts, won't mess with meth. They just made it. He doesn't look like a recovering addict to me, if I'm going to be honest. He Thank does. you. That's all I want. I'm like, I know I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm a little bit Lulu, but I'm not crazy, crazy. Like, I know that that girl was not on that. I just want her to get help for whatever it is, is her actual problem. I think it has to do more with, like, attention or compulsive lying or something like that. Or just, like, maybe trying to pretend like you're somebody else to fit in with Black people because you were the cute lighter girl and you don't really know how to familiarize with people so she almost this like, like just sounds makes herself dumb. as fodder like at the cooking competition she makes herself as fodder to get more familiarized with us but then you'll see pockets of her where she emerges as that white karen girl it's just like girl come on out just don't play the part you're, you're going to pilates and all that you're you're around the, the neighborhood and your ex is a doctor i know about that life everybody goes to get therapy and help sis just go do it just go get help that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I wonder if that lady gonna come over here and cut your ass out like, like she did me at MU. Who? The Louisiana that lady. Yeah. She cuts me out again, Lady Mika. Girl, but I mean, I'm just, wait a minute. We had guests. I was doing exaggerating. Exaggerating. No, she came up there the day after when MU didn't like my commentary of what I said. I don't remember. She came up there. Stop I'm doing sorry. edibles. <laughs> for graduating from your hmm. um, your class please you know i know your principal ain't shit but you know you'll get a certificate one day in the mail that's what i'm saying i wonder Thank if you. i it's should fast forward it oh, hey, 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 see this yeah, part if i may interject i don't really know the full conversation so i'm just gonna comment on the part that i heard Ooh, uh, oh wait a minute hold up you're getting so good up. i am so proud of you i cannot believe you muted that whole time i forgot you was still up here okay you guys i didn't listen past that should i play more of it or should i just not did you guys hear it? Should I keep going or no? I'm not sure what else was said, but um, no, and you don't skip. Listen to it. Okay. Oh. All right, let me play it. Okay, tell me when to stop it. So I'm reacting at this point because I didn't hear. Okay, go ahead. Hear it past this part. Whatever to you. Um. Uh, from what I heard, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think like, like I don't know MU much, but I do know 
I don't know what she what she did. I know I call her messed up. I, I really don't know what like prior does she did. I, I didn't think that far deep. But there are stages of every job. Now meth does um advance much faster. But what I'm gonna say is this as far as like her being and I like MU, but I would not call her like so beautiful, like every like everybody gonna see it think she's gorgeous. I think she's okay. I, I would call MU average. I don't consider her beautiful. And, and that's just my opinion. I, that's what I'm saying. It's subjective. And, I, yeah, the and, car- I, I, and I, also I, the Cameron girl thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my sister does Pilates, but she grew up in the project. Yeah, so, and I, I do Pilates, bar, and yoga. And, you know, I grew up in these. See, my point is, is like, I, I my perspective of beauty, again, we're not going to get into this today, but this is like, I'm talking about what other people in society think, thinks what beautiful looks like. I'm not talking about mine. I'm no, I'm just saying, I don't think society thinks she's beautiful. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I mean, you could go about like it's all about aesthetics. They, I but. mean, so some people think I'm, I, I, no, I think if you, no, I don't think if you was like ugly or but ugly or nothing like that. But aesthetically, I would not. I don't think most people would put her in, even in the top tier. And that's okay. no, I love Emmy. I don't. I won't say love her, but I like Emmy. I don't have yeah. an issue there. And I don't hate her at all. What I'm saying, I'm like society wise, like you have to look at size, the size of her boobs, um, hips. To stomach ratio, her skin tone, her hair. Her no, I'm talking about her face. Forgetting like her forehead. Her forehead. No, I, any. I don't consider her body, and, but uh, it depends on what you're into. Like I said, right. it's subjective. But what I'm talking about, when they usually talk about beauty, they they're going by your face. They don't call a lot of people beauty, even if nothing. They don't got nothing going on with their face. So okay. like her forehead size, and like it's like it's just like, and I'm not being like just just me being um, picky because like trust me, as vain as Emmy is, if she had a chance, she would have went into modeling. I think aesthetic wise, um, what we think as black women and what we've been shown what is the definition of beauty is uh, is two different categories. I totally agree with what you're talking about, but unfortunately, because we're associated with black men by proximity because we share the same skin tone, her aesthetic is what they look at as pretty. Well, I'm just saying maybe for your the doctor. The, the, no, I no, no. The, I'm not saying me. I, I'm. No, I'm talking about from the people that you know oh. that consider just because they got light skin like that. That's oh no no, like- no 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 no. Personally wise, in my circles, she would not be pretty. Okay, and that's a, that's of course a board, right? Right, Leila. I'm talking about uh, outside of black Lala, people. Sorry. Uh, something going on with your camera, sister. Oh, I'm gonna cover hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Coco, I really don't know how okay, we but, got uh, there. Lady Nika, just yeah. to figure, just I'm to figure back over that, because I do I believe that addiction comes in several like mm-hmm. with lying, the constant lying. Thank you, princess. Thing. So, Thank you. And, and then just in case, because you know people love to call me a marketer. So mm-hmm. based on, did you see what happened on Honest World? I know you was in the chat. Do you think I was trying to block out his support? On Honest World channel? No. Yeah. No. I honestly don't think that you were trying to interfere with his his viewership or anything like that. I I, I really want to. Hear it, it it really comes special coming from you. So um, and sister, I was asking you like across the board. Do you think like because in my opinion, I never showed nobody any pictures, but I just know just based off my knowledge across the board. I'm talking about Hispanic people. I know white people. I know whatever, whatever. She just not. She doesn't have the facial features of what I've known people because there's featureism in the black community. You know that, right? So they usually like even if they um even even if it's like a somebody outside the black community, there's certain featureism they look for if they into black women that doesn't have the normal aesthetic, body wise or facial that the black community more collectively agree with. I'm just saying across the board, MU is not with somebody I would consider or even the people outside of that. And to me, the men that she deals with is leaning towards what I what I what I'm thinking. Nobody thinks she's beautiful. I don't think she's ugly, but I don't think she's as beautiful as y'all make out to be. I think she's pretty. Now that's my honest opinion. I think she's pretty skinny, but like would I be like thinking like would I fall out over her looks? No. But I exactly yeah. She's pretty. She's pretty lady to me. Yeah that's what I'm saying she don't have no fallout looks like they be playing. I think that's the better way to put it. Because I'm not beautiful with MU but you know I don't think she has no fallout look. No, I'm not calling that, but I definitely think that she's pretty, and I told her that I think that she's pretty in the face, yeah. and I love her skin, and that's part of the reason why I've always never kind of like really, and M, you don't get mad, but just just my opinion, girl, uh, I never thought she was a meth addict because all the meth addicts I've seen, they mouths fucked up and they skin fucked up. Some of them been in the game so long they had holes in their face. Her skin is too beautiful for me to believe that that was her, you know, her drug of choice. But if that's what she said she was on, I wasn't there. 
but she really don't have the look of a person that was once on methamphetamines. She might get she give me more pill popper than she do anything else. Now that's my opinion. And I, well, I, don't, I wouldn't be like to me, like I told MU, we had like a brief discussion, but she said that wasn't her opinion. She was, I guess, basically going on fact. But like I said, with MU, as far as the drug concern, like whatever she said she did, I don't know why would you lie about meth. But to me, I, I don't know. I don't know nobody that ever did meth. The furthest me and my friend go is weed and alcohol. I've known some girls, they wasn't friends of mine, they was associates, they did Molly, but that was like literally like sometimes on the weekend with the clubs. And I don't know them to do it on the regular, so maybe I didn't see no, you know, aspects of that. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've been all, around all kinds of addicts. Everybody knows from the group, okay? But I have never seen a meth addict like misunderstood. I'm telling y'all, I always believed that it was. I'm gonna go along with what she's saying, but I always thought her 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 vice was pills. But if she say that wasn't, then she's one of the very lucky ones because every person I seen that had gotten addicted to meth do not come out looking like misunderstood. And, and the child was actually saying stages. Yeah, there is stages. Like if you didn't go full throttle, like I said, I don't really know much about meth. So I'm not gonna comment. Like she could have been, I wouldn't know. But I know just like crack. Not everybody graduates to looking like a crackhead overnight. It takes time. It's stages. What stages that it takes, I don't know. I only go as far as we did not for her. That's it in all my whole life. Was there a yeah, I ain't trying to fool around. When I was young, I tested stuff out and pushed y'all heard about it because people try to take my story time and make it their own, what they want it to be. But I never, I ain't never, we do it for me. I don't need nothing but me a weed and some of my wine and I'm in there. That's good enough for me. No, just to always so was your thumb because you had a black screen at one point, and then I saw your thumb. So I just let you know before you even get to any further points. So. Yeah, and that's why I put the screen up. Yeah, then they need to put the screen up. Yeah, so nobody had a chance to see nothing. Yeah, I just yeah, I didn't know he was aware of that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I ain't gonna let you, you know, nothing. But you, girl, you look good. Yeah, I'm trying to think like you showed anything. No, I was trying to get you. Like, I saw, I saw some of your thumb, but that was it. But you had a black screen at one point. I couldn't tell if your camera was on or off because all these new YouTube, new YouTube things. But yeah, like I said, um. Yeah, I MU mean, was okay, but I, I think her attitude is like the, the main thing. Like, that may be a track guys to her. Like, a lot of women thinking being like very complacent and being agreeable is going to get you a man. No, they actually like when you present a bit of a challenge because they know you're not as easy. That's just my opinion from dealing with men. So, I think that's what MU has going for her. At least with men, she may not be like, I guess, with women, but I guess with the men, she be doing that. She placates to a lot of their things and then. She get them a her little spin and then she showed them who she are and then they don't leave. I don't think it has anything to do with um skin color as much as willing that she shows she could be agreeable. Mm. Mm. MU won't cuss all us out, y'all do know that, right? How long this is how long did this go on? Everybody on the panel getting cussed out. Just, I don't want to have to be because like I always told her, I don't think she's that cute like they be making it out to be. That's just my thing. I won't call her ugly, but that's just not my opinion of beautiful. I'm not saying that that don't have to be nobody else's. I've always said that to her. I'm, I'm trying to think about light skin view outside of Beyonce because I'm not gonna, that's gonna say I'm biased. I'm trying to just think of one. That I, think of. On. I don't know. I, I just I'm saw thinking. a comment. I'm um, trying to think of weird because I'm telling you something. Did you know? I think Beyonce is, is a nice looking girl. I just see um some of you that left uh, messages. My screen is going too fast. Pizarro, what's your comment? Even straight men don't. Think I'm beautiful. Number one, I'm not worried about what an avatar thinks about my looks. I think that it's strange for, I mean, it's, Lady Nika is very respectful. Which I'm not even talking about Lady Nika. She's hosting a panel and responding to comments. But for other people to bring it up and then talk about, why can't I see these comments, y'all? Hold on. For other people to bring it up and then that becomes commentary, whether guys like me or not, that's stupid commentary. And I think that some of you need to do better. Who the fuck cares? Who finds me attractive and who doesn't find me attractive? Um, Pizarro's, I'm not really sure why you need to put that in the chat, like straight, even straight men. Who cares? We're all over, um, we're not in, none of us are in high school. I don't give a damn how young you are. And you're gonna be some people type, you're not gonna be other people type, but I feel like I'm talking to a bunch of high school people and they're like, even straight men don't like her. Listen, I like me. That's all that matters. Get over yourselves. Because I never once asked you guys that's talking about straight men like me or don't like me. Who cares? Okay? I'm not trying to be with them. So get over yourselves. The fuck wrong with you? Don't put that stupid shit in my chat. But I always thought Kelly was the prettiest one in the group. Oh, yeah. No, they, I think her and Kelly are very beautiful. So to me, what put Beyonce over the edge is just how she lived her life and um, the, just how she is, her whole aura, her whole being. Mm -hmm. that, that goes into a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen guys like, it was this one guy, I'm only like, 
even attracted to light-skinned guys, but he was gorgeous. And he was my uncle friend. And the minute he, I just see him around my uncle, his other man, I'm like, this nigga is retarded. Why do I even find him attractive? His looks didn't go down. It just, when he started talking, I was like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? And, and it could be vice versa for anybody. Not that Kelly did anything wrong. I do think she's pretty. I just think she downplays herself too much to Beyonce. I would never, you know, down, downplay myself for anybody. So that's the only reason why Kelly lose points when she made that dirty line. What do you think of Pretty Daddy? Okay, I hear what you're saying about she downplay herself. Do you think she downplay herself? Or do you think people, the general public does that? Because I this see them always trying to compare the two. Oh and you can't God. compare the two. Both women are, are pretty women to me. Well, Beyonce's pretty. I honestly believe that, in my opinion, Kelly is gorgeous. Yeah, no, well, I think maybe it could be a combination of two because I've never met Kelly personally, but I do know the way the group was set up, it was always meant for Beyonce to be the center. And you know what I'm saying? So not a lot, a lot of people can handle that and stay strong. See, like Kate Michelle, they were trying to come at her. And we know Kate Michelle actually started out first with the country music. But if you know anything about Kate Michelle, she going to weigh y'all down before she does. So you see what Beyonce did, gave her her flowers because she knew, like, even though even though Beyonce may win little wars, she would I mean little battles, she would never win the war because Kate Michelle was never. Oh, I'm sorry. I had it on mute. <laughs> I'm sorry. But are you guys telling me that was it, right? Yes, the audio went out. I was on the phone and I forgot to put it, I forgot to take it off of mute. So you guys had missed all of that, but I think that was the gift of it. Um, hold on. That's what happens when all right, I was getting messages during the stream. Hey, Mo Better. Mm. Let me tell you something. The, I don't know the last part that you guys heard. I'm sorry. I had that part on mute, but I'm going to say this. And you saw Pizza's comment and knows it was directed at her. I don't know what y'all talking about. Let me get off the chat. I'm going to say this. I'm not sure how that conversation has evolved to that all right i don't know how that happened i don't know how we had gotten so far i felt like i do feel like lady nika i'm gonna tell you the truth i feel that you should have that you could have told me that you don't really feel that i was on meth and i'm just saying that because that is a big deal to me i support all of you guys and i not all of you y'all know i don't support all of you but and i don't hold i don't bite my tongue for you guys and the very fact no and you assume and the very fact that you guys did that for me almost like oh i can't tell her what we really think because she's gonna go off i really don't know how to feel about that because i i had all of you in y'all in in here for y'all thinking i'm lying about some storyline i just don't understand why we why we couldn't have had that conversation i don't know what's good hey hey mu I you, we have an issue now because I know Peace is in there hoping and wishing somebody will fight her battle. So we got an issue from what I, now that you heard what I said the entire day. Let me ask you this, Uppity, before you, yes, you do hold your tongue. I hold my tongue free thinker because I'm always thinking about somebody else's opinions. Like, I try not to hurt people's feelings, but as far as being transparent and having conversations with you guys, I think I have that. And I feel that I had all these people around me that just really thought my story was BS. And I feel some kind of way about that. I do. Uppity, um, did I pretty much play every part of that stream where we needed to review? 
I I came in at the part that you saw me come in. I really don't know the conversation before. So I don't know if you heard what I said. I'm only going to comment on what I've heard. So that's the reason why I, I was talking about that particular part of the conversation, just to get clarity. But I don't think nobody was calling you ugly. I, I've always told you this, Emu. I was like, I don't get, like, I don't see, like, all, all, all this beautiful, but I don't go around saying, don't you call Emu beautiful. Don't you call, I think I'm the most beautiful person in the world. That's just my right to be that way. It's me. And I said that you, I don't call you ugly. I just didn't find, I didn't see, like, I didn't see what they saw. But that doesn't mean they don't have a right to see it, you know? But there was nothing about colorism, like these other people that want to be light-skinned because you actually are. There was nothing concerning none of that. I don't know what the whole lie was about. I said, I didn't believe, if you said you did meth, I believe it. I don't know why would you lie about something like that. That's definitely something you don't want to claim if you don't got to, in my opinion. But I think there's stages to it, but like I said, I don't know nothing about meth. I don't know nobody personally that did it. But I, I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's like crack. You don't just start looking like a crackhead overnight. It takes time. Maybe you stopped before it got to that point. I don't know. Okay. But you're the same person that says you have a small waist too. So, of course, you're not going to find me. Of course, I got a small waist. Mm. Okay. What's good, Lady Nika? But okay, so you mad because I don't want to call you beautiful, or no, is that what you upset I'm not about? Mad about that. All I'm saying is that if we're delusional, we're delusional. I can't help that. No, I'm not delusional for not making you you beautiful, and you. That's my opinion. It doesn't matter, Uppity. All I'm saying is it 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 really wasn't even the conversation. Everybody's entitled to their. Oh, opinion. okay, that's what I'm saying because they're making a big thing about. It. I didn't call you ugly, but even if I did, I'm not gay, so it don't matter. You're not trying to date me, right? I'm not. But all I'm saying, all right? So I think Wait. you're a nice person, though. Does that matter? It, no, it doesn't matter because it's not about being nice. It's about being honest with yourself. So I don't think you're beautiful. That's my honest truth. I think that, you know what? I'm happy that you have self-esteem and all, but... If you, you're not my version of beauty. That's that's it. It's okay. I don't have to be because I'm not trying to date you, Uppity. That's what I'm saying. So there's no problem here. You're not my version of thin. That's I don't want to be a version of thin. I don't even want to be thin. I wouldn't look good that way. I like being thick as hell. That's why I eat nice and I eat well. You should be thick, you should be thick but then don't have us set our different standards to a small waist. It's okay to be thick waisted. I'm not thick waisted. I'm small waisted. Okay. From, from the back, like as like I said, from the back, I have a small waist. My man can use one hand. No, no, no. Hold on. My man can. My, excuse me. My man can use one hand and grab my waist from the back. He can. Okay, I'm glad because all that matters is that your man like it. That's that's it. what I'm saying about, it. and all that matters is if your man think you beautiful. I'm not gay, so it don't really matter, right? I can't I can't take you in or out of a beauty contest. That's right. All, all right. right then, so I'm getting down. All right, I'm glad that we had this conversation. I hope you're you you well. too. I still like you. Hope you're not mad. I'm not mad. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Wait, did I play the part that I played it right? You guys could hear yeah, it. You played the right parts. I came okay. up here to respond to the why I didn't tell you how I felt years ago. I did, M U. But when I came around you, I came around you during that time where yo, you know, you would be like, you would lose your words. You're way better now. But you remember you would lose your train of thought, and then we would help you figure that out. You know, that's when I came in the picture and have always said to you. You are blessed because you look way better than anybody I've ever seen with that, that had that vice on them. I'm not judging you. I just said you look good but considering, but I wasn't in your life for the last 20 years. If you tell me, Lady Nika, this is what it was, I can't do nothing but accept what you said. Maybe I shouldn't have given my opinion again. Maybe that's where my error went. Because when I gave, all I really came to say to you when I mentioned you in my life was maybe you're not ready for the conversation about drugs. Because the last time we visited drugs, you seem to have gotten a bit upset. And that was all I was, that's all I came to say. That's all I was going to say about you. But it grew legs because people had opinions. Lady Nika, here's my problem. And I I probably should have waited a day to do the stream because right now I'm in my feelings, okay? But... Okay. Well, I said you were going to cuss me I'm cool with <laughs> I'm not about to curse y'all all after last one. Listen, nah. I see that OGs get together. We ain't cursing nobody out today. Um, 
I just feel like maybe you were afraid to tell me that that's how you felt. I told you, baby. I told you. I told you more than once. I told you. As a matter of fact, I can give you one specific time where I told you. I told you the night. Remember, we was here late night one night when me and Allie had fell out. And you, you were the one that allowed me and Allie to be able to get up on your link and work through what we had to work through. I, I told you that. Okay, I don't remember I said, that. Remember you, you show sure look good for a woman that been through what you've been through. I would have never thought if I had to say that, what your vice was in life, because we all got one. I got one too. But if I had to call your vice, I would never have said it was myth. Because you are the best looking one. You are one of the blessed ones. Because everybody I've seen, Emu, they be towed up. You know I ain't lying. You see the pictures. But Yenika, I know I've seen them. But what I'm also telling you guys, now, I here's my thing. You're, it's one thing to say you don't look like what you've been through. And it's another to say, I don't believe she was even on it. Now, I'm not trying to convince you guys to believe anything. I'm not. But... I wouldn't come out here and lie about something as serious as that any more than I would look down. I mean, just like I wouldn't say I was on heroin or anything else because those are all very specific drugs. And I just wouldn't lie about that. So I think you're saying two different things. I because just say you don't look like it. I can't say what you have been through in you because I've only known you for a short time. That was all. But and I, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I should have kept that to my damn self. You know, uh, I don't think that you lied. I believe you went through something. I just never would have thought in my head, out looking at you, I wouldn't have never thought it was that. But who am I? But there's a you, and, and no, you shouldn't hold back your opinion because I didn't hold back. I did hold back some of my thoughts on marijuana, and I feel that maybe some people are upset about some of the stuff that I said, but I have more to say about it. So I don't want you guys to censor what you're trying to say. Okay. But I do feel that you saying, Hey, you don't look like what you've been through. And then on a different panel saying when somebody says, Hey, I don't believe that she ever used meth. She's do she's saying that for shock value. What kind of shock value is that? There's drug addicts everywhere. Okay. I could think of a lot more. I, I, I think there's, that's just crazy. But I feel like you're saying two different things to me. No, they're the same. What I said, I didn't say the part about that extra part. All I said was when she said, I don't believe her drug of choice was meth. I said, I told her that too. You just played it. I told her that too. I don't understand, Lady Nika, because I know you're not afraid of me. And I don't know if, like, I think that I'm usually pretty calm. But you <laughs> You clearly said that when a person said no, it was pills, it was alcohol, blah, blah, blah. You said you said that as well. You believe that as well. I did but say I, that would have been what I would have said. I've always thought that. But I always told you I didn't. Maybe I shouldn't have said Why again. not have called me on it then? Why have me? Why not? Why not call that out? Why? I, I just I just feel that. That was something you you could have said a long time ago. But I did, boo. You didn't. What did you get? I did. I how can I call you out about a situation you went through? I can only render my opinion. Ain't shit I'm saying based in facts because I have only known you for a short period of time. I haven't been with you when you were in the thick of your addiction. I don't know what you've been through. I called you when you was coming out of it. So I can't give that. Maybe you are upset with me because when she said that I it was pills, I agreed with that and said that was what I thought it was too. But I told you that I did not ever think that. If I would, Looking at you, I would have never said that. I ain't backpedaling and pussy popping. I'm telling you the truth. I still say that even though I believe you did have an addiction. If they asked me on a stand, if I had to stand up before Jesus. I would have, I would have never given you meth. I take that as a comp, as a compliment because you, I mean, if, if if some of you have been around, oh Lord, okay, I'm gonna bring you up. If some of you have been around in 2019, which I don't think you were over in a black sector at that time. I, mean, I maybe, wouldn't, I wouldn't be sitting over there. I didn't know about you. 
Okay, Rhonda, is that you? I just, Rhonda? Go get your van. I just think that, um, Rhonda, is that you? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I just need to back chat for a minute. Oh, okay, I'll leave you back there. I think that, I mean, I was kind of shocked at how the conversation evolved because then it came about, oh, the ring. And then it, it came about like, you know, it just it just got kind of weird. And I think that was a conversation we could have had a while ago. You remember how we had got into it because you had thought I said something about a chicken dinner or something like that and you had cursed me out? I probably did, M.U. I don't know, girl. I, I I the probably the conversation because you did, but it's not the conversation. But I was just trying to say that I came to you and I was like, Hey, Lady Nika, uh uh, you got this wrong. I just don't feel that I was given the same courtesy. You feel like I did you a disservice by letting that conversation go as far as it did. I felt that if you guys are talking about something that I based my whole channel on, that no, you have because you're a content creator, so I don't blame you for letting the conversation evolve. I just feel that I should have been there to. I mean, and I don't, you guys can talk about what you want, but I think that since there were some things that wasn't true, then I should have been able to like respond to that. This is how I feel. So we came, we sent for you too late. You feel like you should have been at the beginning of that conversation so you can respond to everything. I do. I do. Because those are some serious things that they're accusing me of. Number one, why? try to recite it's not you but it was your channel okay that it happened on this yeah that's why i said in the chat i want everybody that's angry about that by that commentary please don't attack my moderator sister she speaks like that when she talks about anything y'all can attack me because it was my channel it was my life and i can take it sister is your moderator yes yeah, she's my mom Okay. I I I am I just really can't believe that on a platform so large you'd have somebody you'll have commentary that slanderous to my name because I've always been supportive over you and I wouldn't have that over here. Now if some of the stuff was true, I'd be like, okay, but it wasn't true. I, yeah, I know good and down well, I mean I don't know. You, stop I just, looking for the right word and talk to me. You are upset with me because, go ahead, I'm willing to listen. I'm upset with you because I felt like you should have told me. I don't know if you were afraid to, well, I, I can't say afraid because you're not afraid of me, but I, I, I don't know why you didn't just tell me like, hey, girl, I don't believe your story, blah, blah, blah. I would have hit Chili and we could have talked about it. We could have talked about you. You you guys try to call me out for every other thing. Why were they trying to bring up the rehab thing? I never once said that I got clean from rehab. I am going on two years. And I feel like as much as I support you guys when it comes to me, it's just not. Nah, it's like, let's talk about MU in a negative way. Instead of celebrating my two years in sobriety, we're over here bringing up MU stories, and it takes away from what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I could have done things better. Not only that, Lady Nika, you could have easily have sent me a message, and I'll be like, okay, let me hit this link. Because if you felt, if you guys felt like I was still on, that I never use meth, and that's a big ass lie, especially when I got people that sponsor my channel, then I just feel like that's something you could call out. And I am really angry. And because I'm angry, it's hard for me to really articulate myself right now. But imagine listening to that live stream about you. You're sitting over here, whatever it is that you guys go through, and somebody telling you, hey, you're just saying that for attention. You're saying this for this and that. I don't need to say things for attention. Okay. I can receive that. I understand that. Because I have had it done to me. So I, I receive it. And to you... For me not being a better content creator in that moment, I can apologize. Well, I appreciate that. And that won't happen on my channel again. The next time, if you ever come up again, I will make sure I run over here and make sure that I can get you over to my channel so that you can address whatever is being said about you. I take full responsibility for what everybody said on my panel today. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. 
Um, I think that I mean, and, and and I wouldn't even. I mean, and like I said, if I'm not about, if I'm not available, if I'm not around, if it's the weekend, I mean, make your commentary. I just wanted a chance to like be there for it. The minute when you was like, uh, the marijuana thing. Like, I get it. I don't feel it's a gateway drug. I am not comparing it to methamphetamines at all. I just wish I could have participated in the beginning part of that conversation and the rest of it as far as the ring and all that stuff. I feel that I, I try not to revisit my past because that just gives other people, like the person you said was in your chat today, room to make commentary on it. And that person wanted it so bad to be a part of my storyline and he's just not. Okay. Okay. But I hurt you and I'm sorry. I won't do that again. You'll never have to worry about replaying one of my lives or walking in on something like that again. I could, I, I didn't handle that right as a content creator. And I try to be responsible when I'm talking about people unless I don't like you, but I actually like you. So I apologize and that will never happen on my channel again. I won't promise you that I'll never say nothing, but if I'm going to say something, I'm going to make sure that you're aware of what I'm saying and give you the opportunity to hit the link and have your say. I appreciate that. And to be fair, even if I'm not around and you're covering something um, and I catch your message later because you're going to make the commentary you're going to make, if I could just respond, even if it's like later I and, and you're live, I could wait. I just wanted a heads up because I was totally blindsided by that conversation. Okay. I can understand how you feel. Listening to you speak today about it as we played it. And I also pay attention to your look because you ain't got a poker face. You wear it on your face. I can tell that it, it, it hit you. And for that, I am truly apologizing to you. And you have my word as a woman that if I have something to say, I'm going to give you a heads up of what I'm going to say, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to actually respond to me, even if I got to come over here. Like I promised you today, I would come when you go live. I'm here. And I appreciate that. I'm so touched right now. Thank you, Lady Nico, because I really do like you. Believe it or not, when I first started, when I was watching your live streams, I didn't even know. I saw, I was watching reviews on Housewives. You know what I mean? I didn't know anything about y'all sector or anything like that. I was just watching y'all commentary. So I followed you for a while and I like you. If it wasn't for that, people give commentary on me all the time. I don't go over there. I don't care. But, you know, I do support you. And I just, like I said, I appreciate you for letting me hit your link. Um, I just appreciate the conversations because I feel like these are things that we could talk about. Why don't I look like an addict? Well, to me, I did. A couple years ago you know what i mean so i think those and i don't feel that meth addicts look like you guys think there's some that didn't take care of themselves but there's definitely a lot that look like me as far as their skin and their health i i think that, that that's a conversation so i'm not even mad at you for that the fact you don't look like it is a testament of the god that we serve that allowed you to go through that storm and to come out looking like you do Cause everybody don't be get that. So like I said, when I bring up, if I you come across to this and we have a conversation, I say anything, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to respond to me. I never want anybody to leave my chat or watch my lives and feel hurt or broken by something I say. That's not what I'm here for. That's all I ask. And I this appreciate that. Me, it really warms my heart. I, I have to admit, Lady Nika, you are a gem. But we're going to break this shit up right here, right now, and switch this kumbaya shit. M.U., are you crying? I'm like fucking touched, and I feel like you're going to ruin the moment, but go ahead, Trish. Thank you, Miss Parker. Aww. And no, there's no crying on YouTube. No, I'm not crying. I got allergies. No, go Aww. Aww, snooker. I'm not going to pick with you today. I was really going to come up here and fuck with you, but being that this is a real moment. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not. I'm not. I was about to, but I'm not. It was a touchy moment, but I'll get you tomorrow. Okay, bitch? Okay. <laughs> damn, Trish. God damn. Fuck Trish. I remember. And no chance. Y'all can beat me up. 
That's why I told him you don't try to stop y'all. Let y'all speak y'all peace. Y'all were entitled to feel however you want to feel. Because trust me, if somebody do something to me, the inmates don't give no damn. They going to tear their ass up. So y'all can tear my ass up and then chase. Okay. I'm not for everybody. And they do. And uh, no, you guys, I don't cry that you, you know, I get a little emotional sometimes, but um, Trish, I could have, where's my notebook? I could have sworn we had a, we have an issue. We do have, oh, I never checked off our issue. So we do have our issues, Trish, right now, but thank you for waiting on that. But we do have problems. Uh, Lady Nika, I really appreciate that. And I, that's all I ask, but even for you to consider it, that means a lot. And I do appreciate that. I don't, I'm not really upset because I feel like that's a lot. What you said is what a lot of people are probably thinking. And so I think it was a good conversation. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't want you to ever feel like that. So we're going to do things a little bit differently with each other. I'm sitting in here in front of your audience of over 200 people telling you, You'll never have to leave my life or rewatch my life and feel that way again. Not if I can help it. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. You know I'm gonna watch it again, right? But um why would no. you watch that again to put that in your spirit? Oh, you're right. Just let it go, right? That's how you don't have that's Yeah, because you done already had a chance. Your chat didn't beat me up. They didn't they didn't body slam me a couple of times down there. You know, a couple of them still holding on to my wig, let me go. And and child, it'll be all right. I won't I won't take you through that again. But please don't be mad at my mod. Don't y'all attack my mod. I take full responsibility for what happened. That was me. I, okay, here's my thing with your moderator, right? And she and and I do know you take full responsibility. It's one of those things how I feel that one thing upsets me because her opinions are clearly stated on your panel, but then when I ask her to have a conversation about it, it's very watered down. And I felt like I kind of felt like that's what you were doing when you hit the leak. So that's why I was upset and I couldn't articulate that. It's like when I'm not around, one thing is said with this kind of energy, and then it's watered down when I ask questions about it. So it's no, I ain't water down. I gave you exactly what I gave you on my channel today. I just was willing to listen. And once I heard you, plus what I was thinking while you were playing the audio, if I wouldn't have told you, if I wanted to change up, I wouldn't have told you, play it on your channel tonight. I told you to play it. I don't feel like you guys, I don't feel like people change up. I just think that when it's not in the moment, we have time to think about it. Um... And you did tell me to play it, to be fair. And to be fair, you always do when I come up. So I give you that, and I thank you for that. Yeah, Other I'm not wrong with it. Because they might not, maybe by the time it, it makes it over here, and you replay it for your audience, and we begin to hear you do commentary off of it, maybe something will change. And I felt like something changed when I saw what it was doing and how it made you feel. Because I don't ever want to belittle your experience. I don't like it when people do that to me. That's right. I know. And I know you've been through a lot. And you've been through a lot publicly. So, you you know, you get it. Especially when you know something happened this way and your perspective and then somebody spins it a different way. So, I know that you understand that. And I get it. And there's, I'm not, there's no hard feelings or anything like that. I'm glad that we could talk about it because it was just really sitting with me. Yeah, it was heavy on your spirit. I seen that. I was here from the beginning of the live. It was. I couldn't even speak. And I normally wait to go live, but I'm not in my feelings. But I'm like, no, it's going to be a long week. And I kind of wanted us. I didn't want that to be between us because I'm always in your clouds and stuff like that. And also, and I'm not saying, hey, you know what? You guys don't talk about MU. I'm not saying that because y'all talk about whatever you want to talk about. But this particular thing just hit me kind of just hit me kind of hard because I don't want, you know, the methamphetamines. I used to talk about that a lot, you know, in 2020. I used to speak about it all the time. And it is a very personal story to me because it was hard to overcome. And I don't want that's the one thing. It's like I'm not going to let people take that away. It, Your experience. That one because That's part of your story of your life. I had no right to, even if I do think that you look damn good for it, I have no right to take away your experience or belittle it in any way or even say that it never happened because I wasn't there. 
So that's the white yeah. reason why I won't do that to you, MU. And for that, I'm just going to, I'm going to say thank you. I'm not going to be, what is that saying? I'm not going to be the dead, dead horse. horse. Dead horse. Yeah, dead horse. horse. And uh, I just appreciate, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the conversation. And I didn't even expect to get that sensitive about it, but I'm like, damn, all I went through, thank you, Coco, all I went through in that experience. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, I'm going to leave that there. And I don't want you to feel like, hey, I'm saying not to talk about me or anything like that at all, because I'm not. Okay. Well, you have my word as a content creator and as a woman. I will handle you differently, not because you need it, but because it's the fair thing to do. And I don't hurt people I like. I don't try to anyway. And I dropped the ball today. I didn't handle that like the seasoned vet that I am on here. So... It won't happen again. Now, who coming to cuss me? Oh, hey, newbie girl. I had got my girl. I turned my mic up. I thought it was on. I don't know who no. coming today. Wait a minute, girl. Let me turn it back down. Girl, no, I ma'am. Okay. I am in my kitchen. So I've been in and out. Y'all know I've been sick, so I'm feeling good. So y'all know I'm being in the kitchen all night tonight. But I am just, I hit this panel in solidarity with both of you ladies because I know where y'all's hearts are. And so that's it. I'm just up here to let y'all feel the energy because I feel good over here. So I'm just woo sign some of my energy y'all way and I'm going on mute. Thank you, Nova. And you look good, girl. You do look good. And up with you, I seen that you were wanting apology, an apology up in the chat. Uh, I'm not feeling as, gen as generous as Lady Nika, so you're going to have to ask me later. But um, Lady Nika, I just really appreciate that. And it was. I am glad that I got that off my chest because it was Lady pretty heavy on me and I did feel a certain kind of way but we're good we're all good mm -hmm. okay and I ain't gonna say it no more I can thank it though right just don't say it I want you to, I don't want you to bite your tongue because that's when things happen with come to I think that if you're thinking it there's no reason for you not to voice your opinion see it, what the problem is I might say see I'm be I might say damn you know misunderstood dude look now I'm just shit my damn face I ain't gonna say shit I'm leaving. No, I don't want you to feel that. But listen, because it's not it's not even healthy to hold stuff in. And as content creators, I do feel no, I do agree. Well, never mind, it's a different subject. As content creators, I do feel that we should hold each other accountable and stuff like that. And, and and if you guys feel like, wait a minute, something's off, I use those as teachable moments. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. what's up with MU? Is she I I, I I I look at those as teachable moments. It doesn't always have to be whatever. But if you're thinking something, I don't have any problem coming over there or or even responding to your commentary. You say you just want to talk about something, and then I can always respond to it later. But I don't feel like you should bite your tongue, and that's not even like you. No, nah, but see, I'm gonna tell you why I said that to you just now. Unbeknownst to you, and this is a uh uh here goes some for my real life. I'm sharing over here on the MU channel. I have somebody close to me who is dealing with meth addiction right now. And a lot of times I show your picture as what they can come back from where they are right now. I've done that a couple of times. I done brought them in here and cut your cut one of your video on and freeze you so where they can see you because I want them to understand that they too, if they take the steps and they truly ready to make a change, they can come back out looking just like you, M.U., because you look good. You don't look like what you've been through. So I use you in that manner. And I've let them listen to a couple of your lies back in the day when you used to talk about it a lot and how you would, you know, you were dealing with the skin issues, but you was look, it was still starting to look better. I showed them those videos that I can find of you to try to encourage them to do that. That is the reason why I fucks with you, MU, because I listen to you and I take what you tell me when you do mention this stuff that you've been through. I take that right back over there and I, I lay that in their laps, give them something to think about. So that's the reason why I always say to you or I have said she look good because I'm looking at somebody right now that, that ain't winning the battle. And before I completely lose them, I would like them to at least 
see what they could be again. It ain't over. It ain't over till you're dead. It ain't over oh, till yeah, you're Um, And I will post, I, I got, I'll take some of those videos off of private, I don't know if they're on private or, I think they're on private, where yeah, I took a lot, a lot of them, of them. I, yeah, I had to clean some stuff up. I took a lot of them down, but I'll unprivate some of them just so you guys can kind of see the difference. But I wouldn't even make it sense. If you even look at the editing style, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say. So for me, I did have to work on my skin, but the drug mostly attacked my brain. Like I went through a psychosis. I went through, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of meth um, psychosis or whatever, but um, it, you have? Yeah. Okay, so I went through that. And so, yeah, I, I, where it did affect me was the way that I, like my, my thought process. And I still struggle a little bit with that, but I'm pretty much over all that. But I would definitely, um, I hope that it does encourage somebody to get off meth. Meth is a nasty drug. I would never compare it to anything else because it attacks your mind and your skin. And it just does a lot of damage. And I cannot say that for marijuana or anything else. Yeah. But I've been using you you as a blueprint for that person for about a year now because I need them to not lose hope because they're at that stage where they want to do something different. And but they looking at themselves and, and she don't feel beautiful anymore. And I still see the old her. She's still in there if she just go through the process. And so she's you is kind it of meth like, that she's on? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Yeah, she on meth. She well, she's been on meth for like eight years, and MUA didn't tow her up. But I still see my friend inside of her. The the problem with meth, and I did go through this, is that it does because as Savi understood what I'm talking about, it takes. It turns you up from the inside and then we see it on the outside and then we have this sensation where we want to scratch our skin and so it does tear you up, but it can get better. But the problem is it's a long recovery. So I'm glad that you still see the old her because maybe it'll help her remember and she probably doesn't even realize what's happening to her right now because it just affects your brain. So she probably doesn't even realize how far she's gone. Uh, yeah, she's at that stage now where I have to help her complete her thoughts because she'll start talking and then it's like she be she lose the thought altogether and I have to bring her back around and say things to make her understand, you know, get back on track of what we was talking about. It could be about any little thing. And she just completely like goes off kilter. She just gets quiet and I know she's lost her thought. And I say things to try to help her remind her of what she was about to say. But I'm not I'm not an expert. I'm just somebody that listens to you and other people that's dealing, you know, on your road to sobriety. And I, I read a lot of books to try to help her out. That's why I learned about the psychosis of the uh, drug was through reading on Google and seeing what they could tell me. And we did get her now into a program, okay. but it's not a, it's not a in, you know, when she stay there, it's like she go to meetings up in there. She don't actually, she's not a resident at a, a facility. And I personally think she need to be in one, but because she has moments, but she called me and I try to, you know, talk her through the urge to want to go out there and get the stuff. It's a whole lot. I'm telling you, Emily, we could do a whole video about that because she's going through a lot. I think that, Thimiso, what are you going off on about in my chat? Lady Nika, now I feel like I should have revisited. Now, I kind of agree with Pizarro. I should talk about meth more. That is the drug that I know the most about. Um, I just thought people couldn't relate and most uh a lot of people haven't really seen that i i don't know what i was thinking but what you're talking about is so real and with you i don't know if you're kind of hitting the codependency stage i don't know but that's just deep and with her and with you completing her thoughts i mean it affects your brain and it, it's just sad and it's just it doesn't get better the longer that she's using so i am glad that she's in a program M.U., she can't even remember sometime how to make it to my house. Wow. Wow. I That that really hits hard. 
I went through that as well. And I didn't think it was going to get better. It took me about 12 months before that went away. And it's tough. I couldn't remember like simple things that I would try to play it off. Like I couldn't remember and I couldn't. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And I pray that she gets sober because it, it's, it's just the nastiest drug I ever could have come across. I definitely wouldn't want that. I wouldn't wish this on anybody mm -mm. when I'm watching happen, you know? So that, that, there's a little piece of me to let you know, where I'm in with it. And sometimes I don't pick the right words to say, like, obviously today I didn't pick the right words, but it wasn't, it was never coming from a bad place. I think that we all have, we have experiences and I do appreciate you saying that Lady Nika. I, I, I feel that because, Oh, that's a good point. Okay, I'm gonna leave that up there for a second. Because we all have experienced addiction in some kind of way, you don't want anybody playing in your face about a certain story. And then we have our loved ones, whatever. So I can understand some of the questioning, whatever. But no, I did live the life. I do know what it's like to recover from it. And I can tell you that it's a rough recovery. But it's possible, but only time makes it better. Okay. AKD said, Lady Nika, keep reminding her of that friend you used to know i'm so sorry but you're an amazing friend most don't stick around and most don't stick around so no nah, i've been my buddy for a long time i'm I'm not gonna walk out on her when she she's at her knee in her time of need because even with her having all that she was going through when my brother passed last month before last she was right there and if you can get her to drink a lot of water i know it sounds bad but because of how it dries our skin out and i mean a lot of water because it's so toxic that's even a start however start flushing out some of that tox some of those toxins okay see if i can push water on okay i will well i didn't want to take turn your life into all of this here i just wanted to share with you a little piece of what the reason why i i i talk the way i do and sometimes the reason why I came at you so hard when I thought that you were slipping. Because I was experiencing it in my real life. I'm not upset about that. And and your my prayers for your friend, honestly, that's uh that's tough and it's tough on on you. But I understand it so much better. And I don't you I can't even say that you've been hard. I would just say that you've been real. It's sometimes a person is not really ready for that. And I understand more of why you say some of the things that you say. And you shouldn't change that. I'm not going to change. I'm just going to try to be better. Okay. Every day, strive to be a better version of yourself than you were the day before. That's, That's what we good. all should do. That's but right. I appreciate you talking with me. Nuba, I'm finna go, girl. Uh, I'm going to get on down before they get ready to try to jump me in that chat because they was trying to beat me up earlier. <laughs> Lady Nika, before you go, let me just ask you a quick question. Do you feel that after the live stream with James yesterday, that things in general are going to be a little different in the sector as far as commentary stuff goes? You know, after y'all town hall meeting, do you feel like a lot of well, this VR, are you guys going to start doing? Where, what do you think about that? Do you think it's well? What I thought about them first of all, it was an excellent life. He did a wonderful job of bringing everybody together. Now, did we get anything really? Yeah, I, I feel like she did, Jay Cannon. I can't say that for certain because I'll be putting words in her mouth. But being that I've known her for so long and I know what she done been through, I feel that that had a lot to do with it. But about James Town Hall, I don't know how much different the beef sector is going to move because if you watch that thing, you saw we, we really beef sector out in that thing. We really yeah. didn't show our asses sometimes. But I think that what it what will come of it, we'll be more mindful of the people who we just give free reign to. So Everybody don't have your best interest at heart, but we can't stop people from coming into the sector. And I don't want to stop people from coming into the sector because we got to have new storylines develop. And I don't like them fake storylines, so I would rather people to come in and we genuinely have issues with each other. But I don't. I don't think we're going to change as far as us being like 
the beef sector because what we do over there is we fight. Right. But we fight with our words. We're not we're not supposed to be trying to destroy people real lives. Come on here, cut somebody out, be done with it. And that's what it is. I come from old YouTube where that's the way we move. Yeah, we've always had people that doxed in our sector, but I feel like you have to be careful. Everybody's not coming in to to add to the pot or make the sector better. It's some people here simply to see what they can get and then they're gonna move on. So with the other the sector, with as far as like, okay, we understand we got the freshman class that's added into the B sector now. And the Umar sector, are you guys embracing them in the B sector? As far as B sector, they're just the Umar sector coming over. That's just sharing a platform. Now we're not gonna call them B sector. They're gonna remain the Umar boys because you don't just get to wear the title like that. But I think that some people will let them on their panels and around them. Some people won't. I made it perfectly clear. I have no problem with new people coming around me, but you must understand the rules of engagement when coming to around me in the den. I don't do no disrespect. I don't expect to get any disrespect. You're not going to talk up under my clothes. You're not going to do any of that. And don't think that you can buy me because I can't be bought. You can drop as many super chats on me if you want to, but don't think that that means that you are owed anything. I'm not going to give you anything more than a thank you. Okay. That's fair. All right. I was just wondering what you guys thought about the... Uh, I'm surprised you didn't hit the link as far as I could see. But um, I'm glad you hit. You went into the chat and he did acknowledge you. I thought it was a good conversation. I have a lot of it to watch, but I thought it was a... It was a real good conversation, and we got a chance to all be around each other. Some people got the fight that ain't had a chance to fight with each other in years. But overall, do I think we had a real resolution? No. It's just going to be up to the individual content creator what they choose to do. But I plan on staying on code like I always have. And anybody is welcome in the den as long as you come in there with the right attitude and don't mess with my mods. We good. Okay, and the freshman class is considered part of your B sector now, right? The all yeah, the first, talking about the, the new girls that had started. The new yeah, one. they've all. I mean, they were B sector anyway. They were B sector moderators and uh, subbies, and they just decided to branch out and do their own thing. We can't say that they're not a part of the B sector when they've been here with us all along, just in a different capacity. So yeah, they're very much so a part of the B sector. I ain't no gatekeeper. Let's just keep point that out. I'm not, but I'm telling you how I see it from my eyes. I feel like they are a part of the beef sector. The Umo bars will not be a part of the beef sector. They will remain the Umo bar, Umo bars, okay? But they are they are able to come over here into the beef sector and visit some of our channels that allow them up. And that's, I mean, people want to grow their channels. I totally understand that. I agree with you. Let people come over. I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, you can come over from a different sector and stay that sector uh, because you can't just grow. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to grow. Everybody's trying to do the thing and they're participating with the commentary, but um, know the rules when you come over and just respect the platform. That's it. As long as they respect the platform, they won't see any problems from me. But I don't, I don't think they're going to be around me like that because I'm not, I don't know. I may seem like I'm welcoming to the people that already know me, but to others, I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little, I'm, I'm very standoffish until I warm up to you. I think you have to be because you don't know a person's intention or what they're coming over for. And it's just been too many people that have tried to build off of you guys' commentary. So I get it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But I can't tell them they can't come over. I can tell them there are going to be channels that ain't going to feature them and you just walk light. Where you not want to go where you appreciate it and not tolerate it. Yeah, I see one of them got their, that's true. They got their, you know, their memberships in your chat and stuff like that. So they're definitely showing their support. But I'm glad that you could separate that. Some people are asking me, I'm like, hey, don't ask me about what's going on in that sector. I'm watching like the rest of you. So I'm glad you could clear some of that up. MU, can, can I pull a J Dunn and make it about me right quick? Just kidding, J Dunn, don't cuss me out. <laughs> But lady, I like Jay Dunn. Go ahead. I, I do too. Jay Dunn is my baby. Go ahead. But lady Nika, remember I called you crying about 
my heels. I could, you know, I love me some heels, and they had gotten to the place where I couldn't walk in them all day. I yeah. found a very happy medium. Have you ever heard of invisible heels? No. Let me show you. Okay. I'll, let me see. I can't get them on the camera. Let me put the camera down and see if y'all can see them. Can you see that? Uh. Oh, wait, you're wearing them. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Super comfortable. Oh, those are cute. Thank you. Super comfortable. It is like, I was so delighted when I got these shoes. So for, for you know, us women of a particular age, them heels be kicking our ass after about an hour or so. Baby, it had you screaming. Okay. You guys should try cowboy boots, but let me look them up. Cowboy boots. Yeah, they have like a little. Oh, uh, do I have any that's here? Chunky heel. I don't have any that's in front of me, but yeah, invisible heels. Yeah, cowboy boots, but you know, it's kind of hot where you are, Lady Nika. You may not like them. So, why do they call it an invisible heel? Y'all, because let me let me take it off and show you the shoe up close. Can y'all see this? Hold on, I don't know. Wait. Don't see what I'm looking at. So I think it's in the hill. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show you. Wait, did you take it off? I'm gonna show you guys how this hill is made. I wonder if it's because the hills are. Can y'all see that? Ugh. Like that? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Put that up again. Let me see. Okay, wait, let me that move forward third. I don't like animal print, but that boot is cute. Yeah, I was just looking at the hill. Though. I don't like. Well, I like animal print, but. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if that's what they call it. An, uh, now, hill. Put, put, the, put me back on camera, and you, and I'm going to hold the shoe up. Let me see if I can get y'all to see, yes, see how that. Hill. Yes. Yes. Does that, yes. It is so, I didn't believe it until I got the shoe and tried it on. It's so comfortable. Okay. I think so it's beautiful. Good. For us women of a particular age, ain't that I usually don't like square toe but this i like this shoe and it's comfortable it's like walking on air but when i got to crying about my heels hurting my feet this is what was suggested and i tried it i love it it is super so comfortable the heel being made like that is that just more <laughs> coco is that just more um comfortable it, it really is it, it, it's comfortable and believe it or not, it gives you more stability i would even suggest these for the girls that are just starting to wear heels trying to learn how to walk in them and whatever. Get you some invisible heels. And it, and it take a lot of the pressure off that back part of your heel. Exactly. Exactly. I love them. All right, yeah. and you take me down, damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit, well, you were flossing and flexing up there. Yeah, maybe I'll order some because I want to start wearing heels, you know? And I think I that see you over there, M. You starting to do little things with yourself. When your little earrings, you always did keep your nails together, keeping that hair all right. Go ahead, girl. Y'all like my nails? Yeah, I'm trying. I love them earrings. You know, I'm an earring girl, and I oh, love are? earrings. I love oh, earrings. Yeah. I own so many earrings. I don't think I'm bad to wear them all in my lifetime, but I'm gonna try. Hey, why not? And it's always fun when you come up, but newbies looking good. Oh, newbie got some admirers. It's always fun when you come up. I remember when you guys always used to come up. Um, like it was just a thing. Yeah, I got you know, lazy. You know, in the beginning, I didn't know that I had the option not to come up. So that's how I started. Somebody tell me that came with StreamYard. Well, I don't think I, I don't know because I don't hey, remember. Now, no. back in the day, we did have people who did content and they didn't show themselves, but they would do like voiceovers and show other stuff. When StreamYard came, it became easy to just cut the camera off. But I, it took me a while to get to this point, and then I got lazy. I, yes, House of the Princess, uh, I got lazy. It started being easy to just come on and do your show and not worry about having to fix yourself up. 
it took me a while to get to this point because I come from old YouTube where we did uploads. We had to be on camera and we upload them to YouTube. We did, we record our videos and upload them. I didn't always go behind a camera, but now I'm behind a camera and looking back now, it, considering everything that has happened, if being behind an avatar would have been my uh, option for me back then, I would have never shown myself. Me too. I have to say that knowing the things that I know, like knowing the things that I know now, you guys, nah. But I really didn't know when I first started this shit. I was just on here. I didn't realize all the stuff that you'd go through. You can't just come up because you got to worry about what's in your background. And if you're yeah. having a whole day, you got a skin breakout or something like that. It's like you can't just come up anymore. You come up and people just find something to talk about. So any little thing. They're not even paying attention to you when you they, you cammed up. They looking to see what's behind you, what what's going on, what they gonna see, what imperfection can they find about you to drag you on or throw in your face. So I do. I'm glad that people have the option now to do behind behind their avatar. And if anybody's out there doing that full time, just not showing yourself, you made a wise decision. And I would suggest that you stay behind uh, avatar. It kind of protects you a little bit when you got a, a little bit of anonymity to yourself. People don't need to see where you living and how you living or even see you because everybody online nowadays don't have good intentions. When I started, I didn't have that sense. I didn't know. I just was coming on and I was going to do my little thing. And I didn't think that the, the stuff that people said about me, they would ever say because I didn't feel that way. Babe, I cut that camera on. I got all kinds of criticism. And people want to talk about every little nitpick thing. Um, you tell them you got an issue. You go through the issue in front of them. They still dog you out for it. So shit that you can't even control, you know. So if you do have the option to stay behind a camera, stay behind it. That's the best thing for you so people won't be able to nitpick at you. Because everybody don't want that when they come online. Some people just want to come and have a good time and do their little commentary and go on. They don't feel like all that extra people be wanting to give them. And it's sad because you can go to these other channels, these other... And I'm talking about like outside of all these sectors, right? But they don't call themselves sectors. And they look so regular. They don't worry about that kind of stuff. They come out when they're having bad days and shit. It's just us picking each other apart. And there's nothing wrong with the way you look. Nothing wrong with the way I look. Newbie, you know, newbie's newbie. She's stout and shit. But um, there's nothing wrong with us. But being online, it can give you some insecurities because they'll pick you apart. Hell yeah. Don't yeah. think that I don't get it. You got to be strong, you. honey. You got to be bold enough. To be on camera, just own it. They done came for me, my big forehead, my cocked eye, my little titties. They come for me too. I just don't care because it's who I am. So deal with it or don't. Keep scrolling if you don't like it. But some people can't handle it. Like Lady Nika is, I don't think it's ever bothered her. It, it doesn't bother me. I don't think, well, Lady, I can't speak for you, but people are going to talk and show like the most unflattering pictures of you sometimes, and you can't have thin skin doing this shit you got to be able to take the scrutiny because you're in a public eye but at the same time it's like damn damn it does get tiring that we can't just come on um you know it just does i've been there i went through it too i'm no different from any other person i'm a woman just like you mu I think is to be as beautiful as we can possibly be. And even when we going through stuff, we still try to pull ourselves together and to know that you took the effort to at least try. And then a person who don't know you, nothing about you, nothing about your path, what you've been through, just can get online and say some of the more horrible things about you. It hurts. I, I'm not I'm not a content creator that's going to lie and tell you I've never cried off this app. I have. But what hurts you more? And I I almost started. I mean, if it went for church, y'all probably would have lost some tears that I've you know. Um what hurts you more? Somebody attacking like your integrity or your looks? 
both but what really get me was when they would attack me about my aesthetics and then i have lupus and i've shared that openly on here i've told you about the transformations that i've had to go through and how it affects me and then somebody will come on there and they'll say she ain't got no lupus ain't nothing wrong with her she's just an ugly bitch and it just fucks you up because you already you already have your feelings tamper with knowing that you got the disease you know what the disease can do to you and then when it begins to happen to you you go to a place where you feel like you can be most transparent and share so that maybe through your story somebody else could be helped and you get people on there that just want to say the worst things to you it took me a while to get to a place where i can hear people criticize me the way some of these people criticize me on here and not feel a damn thing See, when I started to, when I learned how to really love me, you can't tell me nothing. How did I you? I think that I'm the best I know in you in everything. And, and I have somebody in my life that loves me unconditionally and reassures me all the time that I'm the best I know. But you know, the first person that reassured me that I was, I was all right, I was cooking was my father. Hmm. So in my early days, okay. my daddy used to lift me up every time these people tried to tear me down. And that shows you guys when you have, I mean, because I knew it came from somewhere and I was about to ask you what changed for you to where you got to thinking like, hey, it doesn't matter what other people say. Girl, my father, the man that I'm with now, God, that's what got me through it. Now you can't tell me nothing when people talk down on me or say ugly stuff to try to hurt my feelings it don't it don't have no mo it don't have no traction with me because that's the mouth of someone who really don't know me don't know my story and beauty is in the eye of the beholder i didn't come down here to be beautiful I didn't come down here as a makeup girl, a wig girl. I came down here as a person who just wanted to share their life, one upload or a live at a time. That's it. And that's what I'm giving. And you do it well. There's a reason why you have the audience and the follower. And it's not always about the audience, you guys. Because you're always going to get people in your chat when you have a busy chat, right? But you have, you have supporters and people that support you and that follow you and um that appreciate your transparency you taught me about lupus because even though i've heard about it i never knew anyone that had it so when you're saying hey you know what there's days you won't feel well you have to take those days off i'm not sure how it affects your looks i'm not sure i don't know enough about it but yeah it did and you if i ever up one if i remember one day when i'm live i'm gonna show y'all how i looked before i got the diagnosis i look totally different but what does it do to you? Like what? Like what do you mean? Because you've always been attracted to me. I mean, you had a glow up from the first time that I've met you, which is interesting. And I say that as a compliment, not like you looked bad, but you did have a glow up. Like you know what I mean? Uh, if I could jump in here right quick, and Lady Nika, I've talked to her about this before. I had a cousin who had lupus, and some years went by after she got sick. It was some time in between her her diagnosis and me seeing her again when i saw my cousin and this was one of my favorite big cousins when i saw her mu i didn't recognize her and i told lady nika i cringe every time i go back to that moment because she was speaking to me and talking to me you know in the big cousin little cousin way and i'm looking at her like she was a stranger i'm kind of not cold but like okay i don't i don't know who you are and when they told me that's we're going to call her Tiffany. That's Tiffany. I can't imagine the look on my face because it was, I ain't saying she looked better or worse. I'm saying she looked like a completely different person. Yeah. So yes. I'm one of the lucky ones that it didn't fuck me up as bad as it could have. Cause when I go to my lupus uh, support group, our meetings, baby, that makes me so grateful. Every time I go to a meeting, I'm so grateful because I see what it could have been. And the fact that it didn't get to that point with me or it hasn't as of yet, I'm just so grateful because 
one day you may be swole up in your face and you my face have gotten so damn big girl i probably i already got a big ass head as you can see but i my face would swell up so big you know how when your face swells some and you can see your cheeks under your bottom eyelid that's how big my face has gotten before i see i i'm trying to i'm making myself a note because i would have i had no clue that it changes what you look like Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll alter your looks. It'll break your skin out real bad. And if you don't go and see a dermatologist who can give you ointments and creams to help you try to, you know, get rid of the lupus lesions in your face, your face will be broke completely out. We have we have moments where our inside our mouths get the lupus lesions. That's very painful. You can't eat anything. You know, I want to make a video about something like that. I, I learned something new. Um, I, I didn't know. And I hear people talking about lupus. It's an autoimmune disease. I know that. But that's it. But wow. Because all it is is the, 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 the cells in your body that our body, the antibodies that your body naturally builds up to help you fight off stuff like colds, infections, things like that. Our body builds it up at an alarming rate and we get so many of them. Those antibodies don't have anything to attack, so it begins to attack itself, meaning it attacks our organs, your heart, your lungs, your kidneys. When I first got diagnosed, I was put on a very high amount of steroids, and that was because the lupus was in my kidneys, attacking my kidneys. Now, when you get lupus and you go into renal failure, you do, the symptoms of lupus usually disappear. But who want to go to dialysis two or, three two or three times a month, I mean a week, just to get rid of lupus? Wow. So dialysis is one of the uh, treatments for lupus? I can't even imagine. I'm sorry that you that you have to go through that. I had no clue. It's not really a treatment, but when you if a person goes into renal failure, the symptoms of lupus usually go away. You don't have them as much. But like I said, who wants to have their kidneys compromised just because just so that they can not have the lupus symptoms? I'd rather take the days of where my joints are hurting. I'd rather take the days of me swelling. I'd rather take the days of me breaking out opposed to my kidneys failing on me and I'm being hooked up to a machine two to three times a week. Wow. I had no clue. That sounds painful, and I don't know how you're getting through it, but you're getting through it. Lupus it's an extremely painful disease. It's very, very painful. I can take a lot of pain because I've had it for over 20 years now. So my, my pain level is very high, but even sometimes with me, um, I have to have, you know, pain medications to help out. Toya says, you look better than all of them. Rodney says it's mostly common in black women. I couldn't tell from the way you look. That's why I didn't know that it altered anything. Because if anything, like you've always looked good to me, you know, and I watched you do the reviews on a housewife. And then I'm like, as the years went by, like you really came into yourself. You know, I see you feel makeup on and stuff like that. You look good. But uh, I guess we could both say that about each other. We don't really look like what we've been through. Absolutely not. I tell people that all the time, I absolutely don't look like what I've been through. It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And you're right, Cheryl. Some people lose their hair. I lose my hair every eight to nine months. Wow. I did not know. Is that because of the medicine? That That's what lupus does. It takes it away. Some people lose it all permanently and they, they scar on their scalp to the point where it's scar tissue up there so hair won't grow again. Some people are lucky like me. They lose their hair, but it comes back. I'm going to look into some of this. I had no clue. So at least with you, it didn't scar, but for some people it does. You know, that's why, I mean, it's just like the more you know, because I definitely want to know more about that and rodney said it is mostly common in black women i just mm -hmm. never heard of that of course Sturm said they learned about lupus from tony braxton we all hear about lupus but i never thought it was just like anemia i never thought that was a big deal but it's nothing like lupus wow i don't know how you get through it but you're getting through it do you just take steroids 
and your uh, I have steroid creams that I put on my face. Um I I my diet changed. I had to change my diet and you know I just keep active. When my body tells me I'm tired, I don't push it because if I do, it'll cause me to go into what they call a flare up and then I'll be later for possibly a month. And depression is very common in people with lupus. I've had my depression times too. I still see a therapist every now and again when things start to get to me. But I don't have any, like lupus don't depress me anymore. I say that I have lupus. Lupus doesn't have me. Meaning okay. that you may be on me, but I'm going to get you up off of me. I'm not going to let you stop me from having some form of quality of life. I work, I go out and about, you see me, I go all to the concerts and stuff. Girl, I do me, I'm living my life. But I have to live my life with certain limitations now. I can't push myself for two and three days to stay up or to work hard and to the point where I'm just exhausted because I know that's not good for me. But I do get out and I live a, a very good quality life. I didn't let Lupa stop me. And they had told me when I was diagnosed, it had gotten so bad at one point, I was told that I would have on, early onset dementia. I was told that I would be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And I was told that I probably wouldn't live past 45. I'll be 52 in September. I walk, I run, I do all that. I wear my heels, honey. I get out there and I will drop it low. Now, I can't drop it like it's hot no more, but I do drop it like it's lukewarm and I bring it right on back up. I don't have no problems. I don't have anything that's going to stop me from having some type of life. And as I get older and I start to have any restrictions, I'm going to learn a new normal and live that life. Okay. I'm still here, y'all, but I'm getting tender and ain't no crying down to the pink. So I'm going back on mute. Okay. I have a hell of a testimony and I've told it some of it. I stopped sharing so much on YouTube because people started to take my words and use them against me. Like I tell you that this happened in my life and you think that I'm telling you this story may have happened 15, 20 years ago, but you're trying to bring it to my right now, my life today. No, everything I tell on my channel be stuff that I've already went through. I done already went through the motions of the, the emotions that was involved with it. I'm at a good place when I bring it to YouTube. But I can't even do that anymore because everything I say, people try to scrutinize it and find a lie in my story, a story that they don't know nothing about. That's, uh, and, and I... I hear, I hear you. So I know exactly. I mean, that's why I was so much in my feelings because I, you know, when you move past something, you want to stay past there. And when you're sharing, that's one of the things it's like, we like to share and, and your story has hoped. I mean, just what you said, the little pieces that you were saying, when I was like, wow, I can relate to a lot of that, but you do open yourself up when you're talking about stuff because people want to use it and find stuff in that and try to call you a liar, etc. Rodney said these people are sick on here. Some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are living such horrible lives. They pleasure, only pleasure they get is to come online and try to trash somebody else to make them feel how horrible they feel. I got what you were saying to me today because I don't know if you've ever seen this account, but there's an account running around on YouTube that says Lady, Lady Nika does not have lupus. That was the most offensive shit I have ever seen in you. So I got it when you told me what you told me today because that's invalidating all that stuff I went through. The the hair loss, the inflamed uh, uh, joints, um, the facial changes, everything you just invalidated that by simply saying it didn't ever happen you're taking my story and you can't take my story because i lived that exactly i haven't seen the account but uh damn people are just people are sick and like why would you lie about that and you wouldn't lie about that that that's a part of some that's a part of your story i wouldn't tell i wouldn't wish lupus 
up on somebody I really could not stand on this on this app. You could pick the person I like the least, and I wouldn't give them this because this has been horrible. Nobody should have to go through this, but it is a part of my life. It's a part of my life story. So I live with it, and I live with it happily because I refuse to let this defeat me. I'm going to fight to the day I leave here. You have to. And it would be nice if we had cures for some of this stuff. But I think when it's an autoimmune disease, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. It's a virus, right? Or is it a virus? No. Autoimmune, autoimmune disease. I don't think there's cures for that stuff. It is. There is no cure. And there probably won't be a cure in my lifetime. So this, I will die with this. <sighs> yeah, it's not a virus. It's, I... I, I'm just just the fact that you're dealing with it and are able and that's and you're able to talk about it. I just think is amazing because you didn't ask for that and there was no no. You're saying it's a disease, no disease. You didn't ask for it. And does marijuana help with some of the symptoms? Absolutely. Okay. It does. It helps kind of deal with the joint inflammations, you know, because my joints they get inflamed. Fingers, arms, your, your elbow, everything hurts. There are days my entire body is just like on fire. And it does calm it some. It does, it comes in a lot. Okay. All right. But I ain't gonna, I'm not going to give that to lupus. Because I was doing that shit before I got the diagnosis. Miss M, you girl, I've been smoking weed since I was a teenager, girl. <laughs> I mean, I know that it helps with a lot of stuff, but okay, so you use it. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. But I'm just I looking at it. Things. I like it. That's what I like. That's my that's my thing. That's my pleasure. So that's why. And even though it does help me deal with you know, having lupus and some of my symptoms, I will never tell a person I only do it because I have lupus because I'll be lying. Girl, I do it because it feels good. Okay, fair enough. Let me keep the crime level low in my area because without it, MU, I am ignorant, okay? What you get on YouTube is not, girl, listen, listen, I snaps and I'm not one of them people. Hey, like, Dicka, you got me over there screaming. <laughs> I do. I snaps, girl. I be wanting to fight. No, and I don't need to be fighting nobody at my, at my age. But, girl, I get to want to fight sometimes. I Did I tell you I keep this purse? It ain't no lie. I do. I'm always packing and I'm always ready. Did you say you're always packing? Yes, ma'am. That's what's in this purse. You ain't never going to see me without my purse. If you ever get to see me in this lifetime, I'm going to have my purse. Mm, I need a purse like that. And you better know it's something in there. It's a couple of somethings in there because I like big purses. Damn. Okay. Oh, you, we got to get you together. We got to get you a purse. <laughs> I need a purse that's packing. Right. I packing. No, and I know which one it is depending on the damage I want to do. If I want to do a little damage, I get this little 22. That means I'm trying to just going to hit you in your kneecaps or something like that to get you up off me. <laughs> if I get this glad, somebody going somewhere. Now it's a choice between whether or not you're gonna make it to the uh emergency room or the funeral home. I don't know, girl. And then I got this other thing up in here, and that's my man stopper. I pull that on any man that tries to come up on me trying to hurt me. I'm going to get you off of me. You gotta protect yourself. You got I mean at all times, then I keep razor blades in me. I'm from the hood. <laughs> yeah, don't, you see that wig up there on, on my head? You can best believe I went to the club one night with that wig on, and it was about three razor blades in it. You better tell it. You better tell it that wig be holding. <laughs> Hold it all, baby. And then my hair one under my tongue. Girl, I get down for mine. I ain't lying. I'm gonna ride it for real. Girl, they um, and you she's talking about packing a suitcase. Coco, <laughs> I know. Oh, you got to do what you got to do to protect yourself. Because people yeah. crazy out here. Yeah. And so I would like to be packing too, y'all, but, you know, working on it. 
any them. woman, I tell them that they should have some form of protection. You can have a husband, but you ain't always with your husband. And you need to have something in case stuff can go off and you need to protect yourself. Are you guys in an open carry state? Girl, yeah, I got my license and everything. I'm licensed to carry, honey. Yes, ma'am. All my guns are licensed. Hmm. Yeah. I and I stay at the gun and knife show every year. That's my treat to me. I buy me a new baby. Hmm. You well, don't try to go walking up on Lady Nika. She got something for you. I, 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 know, I wish we could show it me. on YouTube without getting in trouble because I am all for women protecting themselves and I got all kind of tricks, okay? Yeah, YouTube got weird with that, with um, those kind of channels and stuff like that. It's hard. Yeah, trash talker. It's different in California. Uh, YouTube got weird with that stuff. I don't know why. So, yeah. You just have to protect yourself. I'm not saying go out there and, you know, act like you're trying to do no vigilante type of bullshit, but just have something on you. So in case something happened, because something can happen to you anytime, any place. They have, baby, you could be in the suburbs, and something could go wrong. When That's you true. Move. That's true. The suburbs aren't even as safe as they used to be. Really a couple of even. times, Jay Cannon. A couple of times. Have you ever used your heater? That's what they call. Oh. Not to keep warm. The purse in you. The purse. What's in the purse? Okay. Yes, oh. I have. I've let off a couple of times. Yes, I have. Damn. Did you make your target? Yeah, once. That's because I the times I missed, I intended to miss. Did you feel? Oh, did you feel? <laughs> you guys see something about heater? Like, oh, well, I never heard it called that. You guys heard it called a heater before? I never heard that shit. I'm thinking like. You know, like we don't turn our heat on over here. We turn on our air. I carry nunchucks. Did you? Oh yeah, that's crazy. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. To girl, you got to hurry real with them. You might. They might get up on your trash talking, girl. Did them nunchucks? I gotta set them too. They somewhere in that closet over there. But girl, the, the uh, you got to get them things ready to use. Unless you are expert, that's too much for me. When I can just unzip this purse. That's how I'm gonna get into it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's um, that's just crazy, you guys. But yeah, if I were to purchase one, I couldn't show you guys because of YouTube, YouTube, um, whatever you call it. Yeah, they'll be tripping about it. I be wanting to show mine so bad because you know I like to share when I get new stuff. And I said, baby, but one time I laid them all across the bed. I said, if I show this on YouTube, they're gonna snatch my whole damn channel. Yeah, I, it's something. It's something because even the um the those kind of channels started to have problems with their monetization and stuff like that. So it's not really worth it. Because I would love to see it from the both of you, but it's I don't think we can really show that stuff anymore. Right. right. Well, let me let me show y'all what I can show y'all. I've done this on my channel. It's a little video on my channel, but I'm gonna show y'all. And I really wish I could show y'all my little thing called Bumblebee. It's it's uh, black and yellow. It's a stun situation. Look, that's a whole story about when I've used because I wanted to test it out. Lord have mercy. I thought I killed the man. Anyway, this right here. Mm -hmm. It's you can get this at any Walmart, any dollar store. Wasp spray. But it works and functions the same way as mace or pepper spray. Mm -hmm. But this shoots up to 25 feet. So I keep one of these in my car door. And when I got my big purse, I dropped one down in my bag. 25 feet, This so you don't have to wait for your assailant to get too close to you. And it also temporarily blinds your assailant. Now, there are some legalities to it, but, you know, you can get around that because nobody's ever going to tell you at an airport or anywhere else that you can't have wasp spray. I'm allergic to wasp. And I keep this to keep the wasp off me. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Boom. Amen. Also, get you. You can order these anywhere. It's called a URA stick. And if you Google it, it will show you the different pressure points, how this works. If your assailant gets close to you, 
you jab with this. It's also very good to, if you ever get stuck in your car, it'll pop that window right out. But this is a URA stick. And the beautiful thing about this, see, it's on my keychain. And mm -hmm. I keep my keychain on my thing. I have gotten through all types of security with this because it's just a keychain. Wink, wink. So Google URA stick. And it'll show you the pressure points and how to use this. And these are just things that we need to protect ourselves because me and Lady Nika had a whole conversation about how we were accosted at gas stations. I'm just yeah. trying to pump my gas. But the minute you say, no, thank you, sir, you, you got all kind of B words and men get aggressive. So yeah, protect yourselves. That's right. You better protect yourself because they will get you. You have to. And again, if I would have known some of the stuff that I know now, I would have protected myself a lot of other ways. But, you know, that, what, what does she call that? She, oh, you are already, what you say? You are already okay. stick. You are already, okay. You are already stick. Mm -hmm. That's kind of pretty. Oh, let me Google it right quick so I can tell y'all how to spell it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a few of those, like, in my car and in my purse and stuff. It just looks so nice. I could think of a lot of things to do with it. Yeah, if you put in a situation, do it. Don't worry about the legalities. You can get around them because you didn't start nothing. See, it's the more that you know. No, you got to do And when you, the worst thing is to need something and not have it. So I'd rather have it and just never need it. I have wasp right in my garage, right? That was a good tip. No, Summer Breeze, I see you. I got a s small, cute poo poo. The fuck these were? What's a poo poo? And a nine? And I t and a tire kit. Oh, okay. Then... That's right, Brooke. Protect yourself. Some of <laughs> you, I see you in the chat, so I don't think you block. Hey, my lady Nika, my new new. Hey, hey girl. New. Hey, what's going on? Hi. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to come up to tell you what I meant by the tire kit. We know what the pow pow is, right? <clears throat> Little small pow pow. Even if you get a, um, what is it called? A pellet gun. A pellet gun can temporarily get somebody off you as well, okay? Because that is things, it'll stop them where you can get the upper hand. But the tire kit, if you've ever had a tire repair kit or went to go to the store to get one, it's a small little device that it has a handle on it and you can put it through your middle finger and your ring finger because it has a long screwdriver type look that it's like a plug kit and it's a long screwdriver um, where you can put the handle in your hand and if you punch somebody with it depending on where you at you can you can do bodily harm to them um, and that is probably the smartest thing you can keep, I literally keep that in my doorway, like in my, like when I open the door, I keep it yeah. right there. So it's easy for me to grab it. And if I have to go to work, like boom, 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 I'm going to go to work with it because it's easy for me to grab right away. So I me having to do latches and all that stuff. So ladies, that's something that y'all might want to um, invest in. I think the kit is only like $10, maybe, maybe cheaper than that. But the purpose of it is not for, I didn't use it for uh the repair on my tire like if you get a nail something put in your tire usually that's what they use to put the the plug in but that little device will save your life and it's 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 plain and simple and you can have it in your vehicle without having to you know worry about if you get stopped or pulled over that you'll get charged with a weapon because it's literally a device that you would use to fix a tire it is. I'm looking at it now. I see it's ten dollars at uh, AutoZone, but if you want to go cheaper, you can go to Walmart and get it for four ninety seven. So you see, like how I got the handle piece, and it's a good grip because you you got yep. the handle piece. It's, it literally will fit in your hand. And you yeah, it got the grooves for your knuckles and, and where your knuckles will go mm -hmm. around it. There you yep. go. Yep, that's that's what I'm talking about, lady. So definitely try to invest in one of those um, because it'll work, even if. Let's say somebody try to get in your passenger side. You can dig. Can nobody see that you digging down there? You can dig down there, put your hand on it, and just turn somebody eyeballs out with it. <laughs> Boom! And they gonna roll out that vehicle. You gonna push them out the car, and you can keep moving. But yes, that is definitely something I think every woman should have in their vehicle um, for that particular, per, you know, the protection. 
My God, Pizarro, you say you keep a pick hammer? I just Googled that thing. <laughs> I, just, I just, I was looking for Pizarro. I can imagine a pick hammer. God, Lady, can Pizarro, you show you ain't walking like around with that in your car? <laughs> you want me to Google it? Okay, hold on. You want me to look up the, wait, how do you what? Lady Lydia picked up the one that she pulled it up. I don't know if she can share her screen or not. The one that um the one that was talking about the repair kit, the the, the handheld thing. And Miss Newbie, oh my gosh, that thing that you got, that's something you put in your hair. Cause I I ain't that I need to get one of them. Where you get that from? I think you just get it from where they buy bug spray. Like, I'm talking about what Miss Newbie had. Oh, that, that thing, newbie, yeah. come out for me. Where you went and got that thing from? Let me look it up. You can get it. Hey. You can get them online. I put it in the chat. I don't know how far back that is, the spelling of it, but just go online and you can order them and it will also give Damn. you the point of the pressure points that you can hit to shut somebody down with one blow. Pizarro lost her mind. I just looked up... Ooh, um, Hold on, let me toggle myself. I oh, just yeah. up this pick. Are you? Oh yeah. Oh, you that's a big yeah, ass. Thing. That's not nice. Let me pull this up. Hold on, you guys. Let me say that's not nice. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you gotta pick up the one. I Y'all see this? <laughs> that, that's it. That's a bizarre. That's that why I said, you know, "Girl, you <laughs> walking around with that in your car." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, pull, up, pull, up, um, pull up the um the tire uh repair kit the uh tire repair, tire repair kit? kit okay let me yeah, see the little device thing so that people can see what it looks like it don't look like that <laughs> oh, wait a minute oh no okay somebody else okay I seen a picture that came through tire repair kit let me go Damn. Yeah, it's like a plug. It's a plug kit, a tire repair plug kit. It's okay, it's really simple. I lie to you not. And when you look at it, you would probably never thought to use it as a weapon. Okay. It, okay, hold on, y'all. And it's sharp. It, the tip of so it it's is the same as the tire plug kit, right? Let me show yep. you. Yep. It looks like a it's like a little um handle. Yep. It got the y'all know any good at yep. That's it right there. That's it, y'all. Can y'all see that? So it has like. What are these little? Well, the black rubber things is actually the stuff that you need to plug your tire, so you can keep them this, or disregard right them. Here? You don't need this, them. You just need the the tool. Y'all <laughs> just need the tool. You just need the tool. You don't need the little. The black thing is the actual plug that you use with that tool. Thank you, thank you, my newbie newbie. I got it. Hey guys, somebody. All else. right, Lady Nika and M. You look at your uh, messages, please. I know I'm gonna to try to share it. Oh, I can't share this. <laughs> uh -uh, you can't share that one. <laughs> uh -uh, you can't share that one, girl. Mm -mm. Damn, yeah, that's, that's so kid. pretty. Wait a minute. I think I can't share it because it's a teaser. Oh no, I can't share that because it looks like. But you see how it Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't share it. Damn, that's and so pretty. But let me. While we're right here, let me say this. Do you all remember? back a year or so ago an officer claimed that she thought she had her taser in her hand i remember that yeah. you all remember that yep. they don't feel yep. the same the weight is different yep oh b-i-t-c-h lying to me they don't look the same at either. all there is no way that she got that confused okay we know why she said that we know exactly why she said yeah that. but if you are like in front of law enforcement or something like that, y'all do not want to have that out because it looks like from a distance. Mm -hmm. So look, mm -hmm. right? It's another thing too. Um, pocket knives. So ladies, be sure to look at your state's knife, uh, pocket knife limits. They have limits that you can use. Pocket, I know in Maryland it is legal. But the knife part has to be a certain dimension. Like, it can't go past a certain amount of inches. So that's also something, too, that you can carry on you. And you can carry that on your person. It don't have to be disclosed. You can wear it on the side of your pants. As long as the, the knife part is within state's limits. You can actually wear that. Well, in my state, I can't speak for everybody's state. In Maryland, you can wear that on your side, like a gun or whatever. But it has to be the, the, the uh, knife part has to be a certain amount of inches. Right. I don't Me, know. I wish that I could show my stuff 
without getting <laughs> this video shut down. But baby, listen, when I went to visit Demetra, Demetra oh, said, I've never felt so safe in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it is so crazy because like the 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 um the I don't know what me by me being like a type like A personality type B whatever you want to call it, where a man sometimes like predators they look for women who seem to be timid, you know, not to really cause too much ruckus because they don't want to bring, bring attention to themselves. I, I'm loud. So if I feel something uncomfortable, I start talking to everybody, be loud and everything. Start talking like, yeah, y'all know I'm crazy. I've been to the pen and everything. I had to kill my hood. I got be saying all kinds of crazy stuff and that can also deter somebody. If you don't have a weapon, just play like you crazy. Ain't nobody trying to mess with no crazy person. That's too much for them. So, you know, just that's that's true, bro. But I'm gonna tell you something else. When you when you are protected, when you got that purse, mm -hmm. by the time yeah. somebody see it, they need to be feeling it. Don't pull it out and flash it. Don't yep. let them know what you got, what you're doing. Because that can get you hemmed up when you might not even be that serious, but people know what, what's in that purse, and they're gonna come at you different. So be quiet about it. I'm talking about it now. My people in real life don't watch YouTube, so I feel like I'm pretty safe to talk about it. But I'm saying, don't let people know what you got. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing, pretty much. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I want you to think I'm an old lady. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Lady Nick, you say woo-banging. <laughs> anyway. But I, when I'm not in the really public, I do not act it. I'm telling you, I'm quiet. I have my purse, and I be chilling. And one thing for certain, and two things for sure. If I go and pull it out, it's going to be this. I'm going to discharge it. Now, whether or not I choose to want to hit you or just make you get away from me is the thing. But I'm, I've am i never pulled it out in haste. I've never been trying to flow show or make a per mm -mm. If they come out, it's, I'm, I'm going to discharge. I'm going to light your ass up. I know that's right. And listen, I don't know about um, if they're going to be doing it for every state, but I do know in the state of Maryland last year, they approved, um, like they starting to loosen up on our um, GUN laws. So it is now easier for us to carry a firearm. And if I'm not mistaken, I think come around this November, they are trying to make it as so that we can so that number one, we don't even need to have a license and then we can actually have it unconcealed. So depending on the state mm -hmm. where y'all are, check those laws out that's trying to come into play because some are trying to take that, um, they're trying to take it away from you guys, y'all privileges of being able to bear arms. What is that? The second amendment, third amendment? Mm -hmm. third amendment? But yeah, they're mm -hmm. trying to take that privilege away when it's much needed um, on a daily basis just to be there as a protection tool because it takes 911 too long to get to you and you don't know what that other person you know, have in mind. So you got to protect yourself by all costs. You know, hey, Mocha the girl. That's it. Yeah, you better protect yourself out here in these streets because people, uh, you never know what the next man's intention is. People, they snap. I've seen people just snap for whatever reason. And everybody could be in possible harm's way. So just be smart about it. Know your laws of your state, but definitely have some form of protection on you because you cannot count on 911 to get to you in time. Exactly. And MU, some questions you got to ask us on the back end. I, I was going away from my computer, but I got my earbuds in. When you talk about Lady Nika, did you ever hit your target? I'm like, no, don't answer that. <laughs> Go pow pow. Okay. I don't play but no game. I, I don't want to be bothered. I don't bother nobody. But if you bother right. me, you're not gonna bother me for long. Yeah. I'm an advocate for having protection on you. There ain't nothing wrong with it. If you're scared of it and you think that's too much for you, then there are other things that you can get that will aid you in case you're in a situation. Right. Cause everybody ain't with the pow pow thing. They ain't, mm -hmm. I just, I always have been. I'm about that. Okay, Lady Nika, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Cause you're a mom, you're a grandmother like me. We, we women of a particular age and women of experience. I go back and forth with people and this is where I might lose some people and they might get mad at me. But as a pow pow owner, you hear people say, keep them in a lockbox, keep them in your closet, keep the 
puppies separated from the dog, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. It's like it's it can be dangerous, but what side do you want to err on? Because if somebody kicked your front door in, imagine telling them, hey, Mr. Burglar, hold on, let me go get locked and loaded and put together. No ma'am. So yeah, you no. Know. I spoke on that before. I actually wanted to have a conversation about that too, right? Because I am actively like coming up this fall. I will be teaching mm -hmm. my baby, my baby son, not the baby girl, my baby son. He'll be 10. I will be teaching him um, how to pop out. Um, uh -huh. We're going to do it the correct way. And I'm going to teach him at least three or four um, pop house. I'm going to show him how to use it. I'm going to make sure he understands the importance of it. Um, the oldest mm -hmm. one, too, the oldest one was kind of sheltered. So he, you know, he said he, he's going to go and want to learn. But I think he, because of, because of the situation that he's going to be getting, that's what's making him want to do it. Because, you know, he, you know how many is with their toys, okay? So he's mm -hmm. happy about that. So he's going to go. But I wish I would have did him earlier as I'm doing the uh, 10 year old here. We're, we're going to arrange and it's going, it's, it's going to be everything. And I'm going to make sure that he understands the significance of how powerful it is, how dangerous it can be. It's mm -hmm. not no tool. It's not no, I mean, it is a tool, but it's not something you play with. It's not a toy. That's what I meant to say. It's not a toy. Right. This is something that is there to protect your family. So ain't no plan, ain't no showing your friends. I'm going to make sure that he understands the exact importance of it because in time of need, it, he has to be able to understand where it's at, how to use it, mm -hmm. and how, you know, to do what it is that he needs to do and, to protect the family. So that's And Brookie, Lady Nika knows, she heard this story because I think this is when I first started coming over we used to have our little coffee in the morning and it was it, it just like it was fresh. It had just happened and she let me come up there and talk about it. I had a situation some years back where a, a neighbor who was a nurse that worked a graveyard shift, she left her Roscoe, that's what I call mine. She left Roscoe in the glove compartment of her car. Her son got Roscoe while she was asleep. And it went off. And my son was there, took one to the face. They wanted me to be mad at this woman. They wanted me to sue. They want you should take it. I would I couldn't be mad at that single working mother that shit happens. And this is what I mean when I say I know how dangerous it can be. But what side do you want to err on? Do you want it available when it's time to protect your family or not? Like I couldn't be mad at her if that makes sense. If y'all get what I'm I just I couldn't be mad at her about that. I got it when it happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. But that's the important I, I don't know. I mean, whew, that took a lot. I, hmm, I don't know how I feel. And just, just to, you know, cap it off, my son is fine. It didn't even leave a scar. Okay. That He's fine. Cool. And somebody asked me if it would have been worse, would you still have all this grace? Well, first of all, I'm glad that I, I, I didn't have to answer that question. But I would like to think that I still would have understood that she was doing the best she could to protect herself and her family. Like it, it, crap happens. I don't. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Well, I just MU, thought my, I would share uh, that. My husband feels kind of like he 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 doesn't like the idea of it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't like the idea of it. And I had to like, cause he he like on a fence. Like he like I don't know how to feel about me. You know, wanting to introduce that to him at such a young age. The oldest kid is fine. He don't have a problem with that. They grown. But for him, you know, the 10 year old, the last of the the males, he um he don't really know how to feel about that. And I'm trying to explain to him, like, do you not know other cultures and other necessities? Like literally their children start at six and seven, like at the age of ten is kind of late. To be honest, he's they teach their 10? Wow, early. that's young. Like my son's eleven and I so, no, no, no. You, like, hear, you must not hear what I just said. Other net, other races start their children at five and six. I can back and her up ten. on that. No, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm very pretty. young. Yes, very, very young. So when you're looking at when I, when I say ten, ten is kind of 
late starting compared to other races of right. them training their children on how to yes. protect themselves. You're right. Because that's what I'm saying. I feel like I'm late with my son because he's 11 now. So I'm going to do like, because I was putting her kid in karate. I'm going to, I don't know if we have mm -hmm. karate by my house, but I'm definitely going to put him in some type of self defense. Yep. Like, what is boxing. that other one? Ninjutsu or something? Boxing is a good one too. I'm putting um, mine in boxing as well. Boxing something. Is a good one. So they have to be able to defend themselves. I mean, especially when they're innocent and you got other kids. I mean, I think that we're starting late, but I'm still going to do it. I the way this world is today is better to teach your child how to protect themselves than for you to be getting that phone call yep. that you need to go down to the emergency room at the hospital because some other person, yeah. your child or adult, has done something to your baby. Mm -hmm. yep. It's sad that we have to bring that to these babies at such a young age, but the world has changed a lot from when you and I were kids. Yep. Yeah, I can remember when I was a teenager, well, actually, I, before I became a teenager, where we would fight and then we will make up. Like, after the fight is over, we will be back friends. It wasn't like, okay, you know, you got your licking, I got my licking, and now we're good to go. And we're like best friends, and we're good to go. We're not worrying about it. It's not like that no more. If you win a fight, a fist fight, the, that person who you just humiliated or, or beat up, they coming back, and they ain't coming back uh, with just their hands. They coming back with something that take you up off this earth. So it's definitely not the same as, uh, um, as it used to be, so... It's never too late, MU. I promise it's never, you. It's never no, it's never too. I'm gonna start like I'm getting ready to go back to um Palm Springs. Like where I live, ain't nothing out here, right? And I'm gonna put him in something. Just Andrea said, my son learned how to shoot when he was 10 years old. His dad took him to Georgia to his family farm. He's 25 now, and they go to the gun range all the time. There it is. There, there you have it. Prime yeah, no choice. Now, I would rather introduce them to how to protect themselves and, you know, explain it to them, explain to them that this ain't something you take lightly and they be protected opposed to having something happen to my child. Unfortunately, that that's, that's the world we live in. Unfortunately, it's sad, but it is. And we got to teach our kids. Cause though he, I, I just scrolled up and P said, no, she would have been pissed. I think she was responding to my situation, but I had to be fair. Because I had a, another situation with a close friend. We were, they were at my house. Now I'm not just ignorant and reckless. When it's company and when I know other people's kids, because my kids, they, they function one way. Okay. They know they've been around it. They've been exposed to it. I've taught them what they need to know. But when other people are around, I'm more, you know, safe about it. And this particular day we were outside. We were having a backyard barbecue type of situation everybody's outside and this girl's son went in the house in my bedroom and it was one under the mattress that i have i did i have forgot to put that one up probably didn't feel like i really had to move it but he got it nothing happened he just touched it and she was hysterical and mad at me she don't speak to me to this day behind that but it's a couple of things and if y'all can correct me if i'm wrong i felt like number one why weren't you watching your kid? How did he get all the way in the house by himself in my bedroom probing under my mattress? But to this day, she thinks I'm the dirtiest bee ever. I could have lost my son. You just don't care. That was dangerous. You should keep them things put up. But I stand on. He shouldn't have been unsupervised and he shouldn't have been in my room probing. So I agree. I agree. That that tells that speaks to her parenting skills because you should train your child to know how to act when they go to someone's house. You shouldn't have never allowed your son to get out of your sight. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not just that in in the per in an adult's room. Right. Then you under the mattress. You know you got to do some steps to get under somebody's mattress. It ain't like exactly. you just walk up under somebody's mattress. You got to do some steps. You got to go in there. You got to look around. You got to lift that thing up. It, it's not easy. And he was he was out of order to even be in your your space like that. What was he mm -hmm. doing inside that house, unsupervised, able to go into your bedroom and look for anything? Right. Mm, look at princess. Looking, let her tell it. I'm the bad guy. 
can I throw something else in here? And then I got to drop down. I got to take care of some stuff real quick. One more thing. Also, too, um, ladies, when we are teaching our children these things and we're going to the range and all that, we also need to teach our children how to handle the situation when they are in midst of law enforcement. Um, I have watched several videos, both good and both bad, um, in reference to where they are, the person is legally in their legal right to carry, and they've carried um, where police have pulled them over, police saw that, and it's because it's, it's certain procedures that they're supposed to do. Literally, as soon as the police pulls them over and walk up to the car, they are supposed to automatically tell the police officer that, number one, their name, that they have a um, right to carry, and tell them where the, where the uh, weapon is, like on what side the weapon is on, and then they have to ask, was the act the fourth one is something that's I think optional, but they had to ask the officer would they like for them to you know get the you know get the uh, the firearm before any other thing go on, but they gotta notify the officer that they have one whether it's on their person or in the vehicle um, before the officer even as soon as the officer come up and say hello, my name is Officer XYZ, I'm pulling you over. Before he even tried to get that part out, you had to tell him, Officer, I am licensed to carry. I have my weapon on my left side, on the side of my hip, or my right side, of, you know, wherever you got it placed at. And at that point, the officer's going to give them specific instructions. I've watched that situation go down, the same situation damn near, but two different results. Yeah, you, know nah, you you can do, and I know you do have to do that. But and I know that when they show stuff on TV, it's like you know. No, these but there was that instance where that guy I'm had his hands on the steering wheel. Y'all remember that? No, no, I'm not and talking about had, that. I'm talking about body cam footage that I watched. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of um body cam footage. Real, this is happening in real life, like real situations that happen, and and they're different states. I think the last one I just saw was in Columbus, Ohio. I was watching uh, body cam footage off of there. And literally, the person did exactly what they were supposed to have done, and it worked out in that person's favor. I saw a person do total okay. opposite, and they are now no longer with us. Well, you want to encourage the, the children to do what they are supposed to do, follow the laws, follow the guidelines. But there are, once again, y'all know Ms. Newby got 11 kids. I got a story for them near everything. And again, Lady Nika know about this because I caught her screaming and hollering and crying because they had my kids hemmed up and I had, was getting Ooh. half of the story. You know what folks call you. Mm. But my son. I want more kids. Go ahead, Nubi. <laughs> He, My children were not even in, involved in the incident. They were bystanders. But my son, who's licensed to carry, had his situation on his hip. And when it got bad is when the cop kept telling him he had his hands he was leaning on the car with his hands on his on the top of his head, locked, fingers locked, hand on top of the head. But they kept telling him to take his own situation off his hip. And he said, I know, sir, you yeah, can get they're it. They're supposed to take it. They're supposed to. They um, didn't want to. They wanted him to oh, reach that's smart, But they could have acted like they were afraid for their life or something like that or whatever. Mm -mm. They could have. Yeah, they could have. They, they could have pow pow him. Or, they're yeah, supposed they, to by law. I don't know if all states are the same. But I know here, because like I said, I've been doing my research. When that situation happens, you tell the officer where it is. The officer then has to get it. So you have to tell the officer, like let's say it's on my, my um, let's say I'm a driver and it's on my left hip. I have to say, officer such and such, I am armed. I am licensed to carry. I have the right to carry. My weapon is on my left side mm -hmm. thing. The officer then will give the person, you know, say something to the person, and then the officer is supposed to get the weapon. Like, you're not supposed to touch it. Your hands are supposed to be on the steering wheel. You're not supposed to touch it. And then once that's de-escalated, then you can go to, you know, talking or whatever. But, yeah, they're supposed to get it. They're supposed to get yep. the weapon. And they'll get it back. And that's the thing. And Lady Nico, once again, I love you so much, sis. I love you so much, sis. Because I was about to lose my mind that day. And she was asleep when I called her crying. But she heard me. I said, oh, you sleep? Never mind. She said, no. What's wrong? And she talked to me through it. 
until I got there. But that's what it was, Brookie. They were trying to make him. They were adamant. You re take it off and lay it on the car. And he would not do it because his mama had taught him no sir. But they were trying to make him reach for it so they would have a reason. Yep, that's exactly why they tried to make him do it. And he was smart to not do it. Keep his exactly. hands the way they were and let them move it themselves. Correct. Right. Yep. See down here where we at, you better, you better not try to tell them. And then they say you can get it and they give you the instructions on how to get it. Because that ain't nothing but a gateway for them to shoot your child or you. Yep. So just let them know you they'll get it and what they'll do is once they get it they'll you know check to see if there's one in the chamber if there's not in the chamber um they'll make sure that the safety is on and they usually place it like on top of the roof or like in the back of the car somewhere where um until they figure out what's going on that you won't be next to it and then once everything is clear you show your card and you're good to go they don't even have a right to search you because you have a legitimate reason to car you can do that you're licensed so as long as all your paperwork is in order, they'll give you your, your stuff right away um, and keep it moving. And that's that. Is you taking notes? <laughs> Am you taking yes, notes? girl, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I don't want to forget that shit. Uh-huh. Girl. Yeah. You write to write this stuff down and teach it to your kids. You just don't want, you don't, you just got to be careful out here in these streets. You really do. You do. And I have to, police I mean, like, officer is not a police officer to, for the right reasons. Yep. And right? we got all black young kings. Okay. Well, young princes that's going up to be kings. And trust and believe they can easily stereotype young black men. And when I say that I've experienced, I know Miss Beauty have, I know Lady Nigga have, but I've also experienced it where, you know, my, my son, I don't think you experienced it. I'll tell you why, because you don't have older, older male children. Oh, my son's young. He, he's yeah, young. he's just so now my, being like, my, be, he'll be 20, he'll be 25 in um, December. He's been driving since the age of 16. Him and all his buddies, um, where we live at is a good school. Parents do very well. So all of them had their cars at early ages. So, of course, they had the tent. They always had money when they went out of town, things of that magnitude. And they had went to Miami. And um, I know for a fact, my son had about three or 4000 with him. The other boys had about four or 5000 Like, total, I think they had upwards of like $25,000 on them. But they were from Maryland. They were vacationing. And automatically, like, you know, they had got pulled over for speed and whatever. The driver, my son wasn't driving. He was with his friends. But the officers stereotype them. Y'all must be selling drugs for y'all to have as much money on them. No. They are educated young men. They are in their second year of college. I think one was in their first. Uh, my son was going into his second year. Like this, it, it was weird because they automatically made them and stereotyped them boys to be out selling drugs, stealing, or, you know, robbing people when they all were getting it honestly, working, going to school. They just went on vacation. They saved their money up to go to vacation. But because they were black men, they got stereotyped. And it's crazy because it, it happens a lot. So as you know, as your son get older, those type of things, and I'm praying to God that it don't happen to your son because that's a feeling unlike any other where you got to tell your son certain things that you shouldn't even have to tell him that he has to do because that's not, that's his right for him not to have to do it. It hurt my heart to hear this over the phone and I couldn't even get to reach my child like y'all just don't even understand yeah. I baby I was getting ready to be on that next flight but the, but it was another <laughs> officer who came to the scene who was a black man and that is what you know kind of calmed the situation down because the boys were being they were being very respectful they weren't rowdy but why you pull them over you pulled them over for what right. for because you saying now you listen let me like, jump back in here Brookie right what? quick Y'all know when I get in this kitchen, come on, baby. It be, it be real spiritual. I be in my feelings. And while we talking about this, I just want to say y'all know that one can send a thousand to flight and two can send 10,000 to flight. It's 96 people in this room listening to us right now. Can we just take a 10 second moment of silence for all of the black sons and brothers and uncles and nephews? Amen. 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 I'm back on mute. 
that was needed. That was good, new, but that was real good. Because we can't have two seconds, but yeah. I stopped doing so much. Like y'all know, I love true crime. But yes, you used. Oh yeah, I remember you. Used to, then you used to talk about that stuff too. Okay. All the time. I, I'm gonna get back around to it. I just had, you know, after that, what happened with my brother? I just stopped everything for a while. But I, I got, I've got tired of talking about having to tell people about what happened. But I felt a sense of obligation because a lot of these stories go unheard. People forget it may be a big thing as long as the cameras are there, but then as soon as the cameras are gone. They fade away from my memory, and I don't want y'all to ever forget these people because their lives were cut short for no apparent reason. I still go back and remind y'all, please remember Mr. Philando Castile, who wasn't doing anything wrong, a broken tail, a broken tail light, told the police he had a firearm in the car, and they still took his life. Don't forget Mr. George Floyd. He didn't deserve what he got, but he got it. We ain't going to forget about him. And all the, the young man over in Dallas, Texas, in his own apartment, and this woman entered his apartment claiming like she thought it was his, took his life. The, uh, the young lady who was in her home, police saw her moving around in her home, and assumed that she was going to do something. Miss Tatiana Jefferson, I believe is her name. We ain't never going to forget these people. So I'm going to continue to say their name. And although I'm going through my own personal turmoil, I will return to reminding you of these people. The stories you know about and the stories that don't make the headlines. They were somebody to somebody on this earth. They were either somebody's daughter, son, mother father, cousin, they meant something in this life and they deserve to for us to honor them by reminding people of what happened to them so that we do not allow it to continue to happen in our communities with our people. I will never be silent. I will always talk about it. I feel like that's my obligation here on YouTube to do that. I think that you should. I remember. Why do I keep saying housewives? Didn't you? I, I did I, the housewives for years. <laughs> That's really what people got oh, to know. Because I'm like, That's what the I, housewives of Atlanta reviews. Yeah, you did. But the true crime stuff, I forgot about that. But your passion, I would definitely tune in and share those streams because you have such a passion for it. And I don't want people to forget. I don't want to forget. And I find I'm myself you and YouTube give me a corner in this big red app. I'm gonna always remind the people because oftentimes we do forget because it, it's not a, a leading story in the headlines anymore. Some of these stories never even make it to the headlines, and I'm not gonna forget them. Tamir Rice, all of them, all of them. I, I have a whole list when I go live of people that I, I won't let us forget about. And sometimes I may actually take a video down so I can re-premiere it so that you I remind you of it. I don't care about the clicks and views. I just don't want you to forget what's happening in your city, your town, your state. Because what happened to them could very well happen to us. Hey Amen. You're right. And that's commentary I don't want to forget. I would definitely tune into that. I would definitely share it because those are things that we should talk about as well as everything else we've been talking about. Both of them, Gene, I don't think I know the story. Awesome, Gene. That's the man that was in Texas that the police officer came into his house thinking it was her apartment, so she said. And she went to jail. She was, I think she's still there. She got like 10 years for taking this boy's life. Oh, she I remember the story. When he was, um, once they convicted her of the crime, the, the judge came down off of the bench to give her a Bible and a hood. I ain't never going to remember. I remember. We ain't never seen that before. I remember that. I was livid. Yep. We ain't never seen no mess like that before. Um, 
And then I think the, if I'm not mistaken, even the family, one of the the boys was saying how they forgive her. Yeah, his brother. That's right. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that in that moment. Forgiveness has to come yeah. with that's the way you grow. But yeah. in that moment, that wasn't what should have happened. And I didn't understand the judges' movement either because we've never seen that before. Nope. Mm -hmm. Trying to say she wanted to show compassion, but show compassion to the family. You know, I, I, I thought it was it was out of line, unprecedented, but you know, then the family following up, why are we always so quick to try to make somebody else feel better after that? I, I just find because that's who we are. Because that's who we are. Yep. Things that we should talk about. I didn't about. like it, but I kind of got it. That baby done that for him. I ain't like it again, but I, I got whew, where he was coming from. I just think we're too used to always having to be the forgiving one, make sure everybody else is okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I get from it. Mm -mm. And that, that's for every facet of life, baby girl. When I tell you I'm so tired of fluffing pillows for somebody else to be comfortable. You first wow. and then everybody else. It wears you out. It's it done does. I don't hear. I feel like I do that a lot. You do too much. I don't told you, but okay. Yeah, you but do. Who I am, though. I I've had so much heartbreak, pain, and tragedy in my life. In you, that's why I have compassion for people. I, I may want to be mad at you, but I can't because at some point in my life, I was you. And somebody showed me grace and mercy. Yep. Who am I not to, to pass it on? Wow. And MU, I want to thank you because I don't even know. I wasn't here when your live started. I don't even know what it was about. I just appreciate you letting us come up and just share and just be here. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to have these conversations. Well, you did take over your live, girl. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate, no, we, I mean, I appreciate you guys because for me to come into a sector, right? Go into y'all, uh, newbie, you are a B sector, right? I guess, child. Oh, you yeah, guess? newbie B sector. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> so for me to come over there, whether I get cursed out or we curse each other out, whatever, you guys still, you know, let me talk about certain stuff, right? And I appreciate that because it's a different platform. And I'm really, I, I, I just appreciate you guys as well. I've gotten a lot of support and that's why I try to support you all that. And I, I enjoy these conversations. I'm like, just the fact that we can have them means a lot to me. I appreciate you allowing us to bring it to your platform. I know this one, what you were talking about, but I had to get you off of your feelings for a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. Lady Nika, I stay in my feelings, but I get over stuff. The problem is I watch these streams again and again, and then I get triggered, and I can't do that. I can't. I you can't beat yourself up or relive something that hurt you. Once that you have seen something that hurt you, don't revisit that. Once you say what you have to say and there's resolution, let it be. Because to go back is like... It's a slap in the face of God for being able to bring you away from that situation in the first place. He mm -hmm. wants to elevate you. You walk forward, not backwards. Right. That's right. I have to, you know, you know, things, you know, things just hurt a lot. We come out here, we give our commentary, we talk our shit, but then there's some things we're like, nah. And I have to be able to say that and move on. So I'm working on some stuff as well because y'all know I kind of hold on to shit for a long time. Like Trish, I ain't forget that argument. I did forget the argument. It's in my notebook, but it's another time for another day. Uh, I try to let things go, but I'm just glad that we can have this conversation. Oh, you didn't even, Trish. <laughs> you didn't even have, yeah, I got Trish in my notebook. You didn't even have to really address it. But the fact that you came over and you did and you was willing to have a conversation, I just really appreciate that. You when will, I got will. the message to come over to your stream, you know, I think it was bizarre that left me a message in my comment section. I just, I'm not really upset. I think I have to just be able to move on and, and people are going to remember my past even, 
years and I'm just trying to move forward. But the fact that we could have this conversation and, and stuff like that, I just, I just really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. And I respect your journey. I'll never disrespect your journey again. I respect what you've been through because I've been through shit too. We all have. And I thank you for that. And I respect yours as well. I kid you not. I am so interested in what you and other people with lupus are going through. So I'm going to look some stuff up because I had no clue that it changes your appearance and it changes like a lot of things. How uncomfortable that word. What did you say? You get lupus lesion or some shit like mm -hmm. that. I never, I never you heard of it. You get rashes. You get lesions in your mouth. You can get lesions on your head lesion on all parts of your body including your spot where you really don't want anything to go wrong down there it have it you get them down there as well i had no clue so i thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that you taught me something completely new and i'm gonna look it up i might just make a comment mm -hmm. on youtube and, and you let me show you something you never know how your live streams and what you have to say affects people come here Cause I look like Wendy's. Like, what you look like, <laughs> Lady Nick? See how disrespectful he is. I love your Nike. I look like Wendy. Come on, baby, let me see you. Come on, they want to see you. Lord, take the shirt off. He's, right. he's so pretty. He, he at this age, Lady Nika, where he's just so pretty. Is but I've seen him before. He handsome. Who is that? Now, see, this Lady Nika said you handsome. He don't want y'all to see his work uniform, <laughs> but it it makes my point. Come here. Because no, when I know, it. yeah, put your little chain out so they can see your chain. Boy, anybody <laughs> setting you every day. Seriously. When I know he on his in route and he full he licensed and everything, but when he's in route from work, I can't breathe until I know he's okay. And I know just works. us sitting up here talking as mothers, it got y'all didn't even know it. It was getting me through the moments when I knew he left that job. To making it here, and this is what we go through every day. Them other ones done text me, everybody's at home and they safe, but this is what we go through. And tonight, MU, you got me through that. Give me a kiss. Now go. On. So I'm oh, car. Yeah, yeah, I don't push me away now. I'm quiet. You know, I need a car to drive back for the work. You know, you know. He feel like he's supposed to have a Maserati, y'all. I, I, I don't. You know. I do want a car. We had a truck for him. It wasn't good enough. What a truck! Bye, boy. I don't even talk. I, I ain't give me no keys to no truck. Okay. Oh, he's okay, so so. handsome. Yeah, he has Thank you. They gonna get you one, baby. Don't worry about it. We are gonna work on newbie. We need a go. Nobody think about his spoiled tail. Why you put on front? No, okay. Now he say I'm front. He. No That's beautiful. He he don't understand the the a starter car that that we're paying for. He ain't gotta buy it. We buy it. But he's supposed, he think it's supposed to be a Mercedes. Boy, shut up. Let me go off camera. Boy, them kids will make a fool out of you in a minute, won't they? Girl, they just have, you know, when they're young, they want the Maserati, they want the Benz. And you're like, no, you got to start. You got to start smaller. Let's let's learn how to take care of this car. We'll get you something else there. But you know, kids don't want to hear that, baby. They want to get the best. They want their starter car to be a flashy, expensive car. They don't want to start from the bottom. Now we're here like we had to do. They want to start from here where we at. They it want runs. a, a, a Lexus or a Ma, what he said, a Maserati. They don't want none of that. Baby, they don't want them starter cars. They feel like that's too, that's not stylish enough for them. No, nope. he came in here talking about a Bugatti. I had to look it up. I didn't even know what the hell a Bugatti was. Oh, man. Oh yeah, he got he got caviar he taste. Got good okay. Yeah, yeah. On a hot dog budget, though, lady nigga, that's the problem. <laughs> My caviar taste with a hot dog budget. Go ahead on, new. <laughs> but that's how they are. They want they want what they want, and we still do what we do for them. He'll that's get right. a car, but he ain't gonna get no expensive car when he's ready to graduate to that type of car. He need to buy it for himself. Yep. We Ooh, start say it again for the children in the back. Yeah, we just start you out. We ain't trying to give you your, your luxury car. We start you out with something that'll get you from point A to point B. Now, when you get when you get your money together and you want to drive something that's gonna take you to point A through all the alphabets, that's on you. Yep. About the most I'm gonna do is co-sign for you. I'm a co-sign for you. I give you that. 
but I'm not gonna put no down payment. I ain't doing that. Mm-mm. Baby, you better get your forward focus and be happy with it. <laughs> That's what I told her. Hey, at least it's American. Girl, my daughter was mad about that forward focus, baby. She did not expect it. She was at that time. I was very really heavy into my, um Mustangs, and I had one. She thought all her first starter car was gonna be that baby. I rode up in it with that Ford Focus. She was pissed. Girl, <laughs> but they got over it. I see she started driving it, and she ain't had no problem with it. Now she's in something much better. But that's what you work for. I started right. you off to get you from point A to B, so you can get your money where you need to get it to be able to afford that. That's not my responsibility. Exactly. And how, you can't be mad. It's somebody gifting you something. I mean, but I, you know, we got to teach our kids. They don't know any better. They're used to us giving them stuff, and that's just what it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Child, I wish I would have had got a full focus when I was a teenager. Okay. What you talking about? I would have been happy as hell. I'd have thought I was doing big things. But, baby, you two, these new children, mm -mm. and MU, you got even younger kids than mine. You still have young kids. Wait till they you get to that point and see what they try to do to you at that car lot. Hmm. I already know. Keep I'm us already on there. Speed. Uh, M, you keep us on speed now, baby, because you ain't the ball game ain't even started for you. Mm -mm. Get you, you down to that what? car lot. You better told him exactly what you what the purpose, <laughs> what the meaning, what we going for, what your range is, and get to that damn car lot and and watch him try you out there in front of them people because they think they try you in front of folks because you're gonna submit because you don't want to say anything in front of them people. No, M, you stick to the plan. Yeah, you see I, how he just tried to do me like y'all was gonna be on his side. Y'all see how he tried to front on me because he know I'm online. He don't know y'all mothers. Y'all are on my side. No, yeah, Moss, no, like because if you start your kid at the top, they're not gonna be grateful for. I mean, no, it's just not practical. And then the insurance for their age, like, are they paying their own insurance? Nah, my daughter. Right. I thought she was gonna take over one of my vehicles, but I had to get her something else. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get her. But yeah, they don't need to start off at the top because it te mm -hmm. it doesn't teach them to be grateful and to work for what no. they want. And then they're gonna so want they're better. Good. Think about it. If something happens to this vehicle, I mean, because to spend what we spend on vehicles, come on, oh, so we could be ridiculous. Although I think that my Kia people laugh at my Kia. I drive my Kia now more than my Lexus because it's just a more practical car, mm -hmm. and it's a safe car. And I can't believe the cost of it. But anyways, my point is this. If you get them this high-end luxury car, what are they going to want next? Right. There's nowhere to go from there. They move on to something else high-end that they want you to buy. They want it and higher. You know, they teach them to be responsible and to work for what they want because they think they can come to you and you're just automatically going to do that for them. Yeah, and it's it's like it starts small, and not only that, it teaches them to be good with money and to work for you know work for what they want, and then but if they want that luxury car, they should be able to buy it at that point themselves. That's how I feel. Exactly. We don't start them off with that. You get like I said, you rolling that Ford Focus, and she did when she got over it and realized we weren't taking it back. Because if we take it back, then you have nothing, and you will be on city transportation when I'm not available. Attitude changed. Exactly. And that's right. not a bad starter card. That's actually a really nice starter card because some pair I know some parents that got their kid like an old type, right? You know what I mean? Like not even a Ford Focus, but yeah. well, with my this last girl, that baby girl, bless her brain. I got her uh a Volkswagen Beetle. And she got she was so upset she left it sitting there in my driveway, y'all. Left it sitting there. I want to keep driving your car. No, ma'am, you won't. And I let it sit there. I pulled it right out. I, I politely got in it and bagged it up into its parking spot. And it's and I put the keys up and it sat there until she changed her attitude. Walk to work then. Go ahead and walk. Yeah, you got to be grateful. You got to be grateful for stuff. I mean, that's just, that's not negotiable. You got to be appreciative. It's better than your mama giving you some money to catch the bus home from work. That's right. Yep. Or doing what Big Newbie did to me. Big Newbie got me a bike. 
Okay, a bicycle. That that works too. I taught my kids to appreciate everything that they have and to work for it. And I look back and I'm so proud of the fact that even though when I said no, I ain't going to lie, I was a punk ass parent. I would come in my room and I would cry. Because mm, I had to say no, but I knew I was saying no for the right reason. It wasn't that I couldn't get it for you. It's just that I want you to appreciate and learn to work for what you want in life. Nobody's giving you no handouts. Right. And it's better for them in the long run because like I tell mine, my house is boot camp for the real world. The only difference is the world don't give a damn about your hurt feelings. I do. Nope. So try to learn the lessons here. And we have to. And also, Lady Dika, you know, I have, I consider I have two sets of kids. I got the older kids and then I got that younger set. The difference in between them two sets of kids is just phenomenal. They're so different. These younger kids, they on some different stuff. They'll make you question you as a mother and a whole bunch of other stuff. But keep your foot down and do your job. Well, you you know, we done. I'm almost done. That's the last one right there. Y'all see the mine. But I know you, I know exactly what they put you through. Keep your yep. foot down. You gotta be, you gotta be strict. I mean, it was hard with me for my daughter, but you know, you just gotta be you you gotta be stern. Yeah, you have to be stern because the world ain't gonna tra ain't gonna baby cake them. So why should yeah. you? Your job as a parent is to prepare them to live in this world without you. And if they running around here being given everything, you ain't teaching them nothing. You're creating a monster because you're not always going to be at a position to do the things that you do when you go above and beyond like that in the first place because we're getting older. Exactly. So I taught my children to appreciate and work hard for what you want. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing. And I'm telling you in a kind way. The world ain't going to give a damn about your feelings. At all. Be in for a rude awakening when you hit the real world. Them damn excuses they give you new. You know they come with them good excuses about why they can't do this or the other. Nah. Mm -hmm. you ain't doing that. Uh-uh. Because one day I'm not going to be here. Exactly. And I know that you're going to survive without me. But see, what I have to remind my children, <laughs> they seem to forget from time to time. I am my parents, baby. I'm the youngest. I'm that spoiled brat. Those little tricks y'all use don't work on me because <laughs> I've been using them for years. Okay. Ain't nothing new under the sun. They'll learn though. You just stay on them. But Emily, you do a good job with your kids. I see you take your kids out and about. I see you and your son. I see you and your daughter. She look like your twin. <laughs> and they they some good kids. Thank you. They are good kids. I'm so blessed. The only thing I probably would have did differently was, well, I have them on camera sometimes for my uploads, just kind of showing like, oh, you know, what we do, recovery, blah, blah, blah. But I am really fortunate. I'm very blessed to have the kids I have. Those are my babies. My and kids are my reason for living. They saved I me. I was going to say that. Yep. When I was in the hospital mm -hmm. for those four, uh, no, five days. And then I don't think people realized that when I got out, I went back to the hospital. Right? So I didn't realize the impact they had on my son. Because, you know, I sp I'm always with my kids. Um, my son's little, so he's stuck to me kind of. And then... Um, it was just so like he started like when I got to the hospital. I just remember that look on his face and when I picked him up from school. He started crying like, oh, you know, he thought something was gonna happen to me. So every time I think about like, do I want to give up? Blah blah blah. I think I picture how their faces would look. You know what I mean? If something happened, I mean, you know. And I saw all that to say. I'm just grateful for where I am today. Because at least I got. You, I don't know. I'm kind of getting too emotional, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Every day is a blessing with him. Every day. He just really thought he was going to lose me. And then I thought about how many people didn't quite make it that was trying to, you know, get sober or whatever. So. Makes you grateful to be one of the ones that did survive and is still here with them. Yeah. And it makes you want to be better, not just for you, but for them as well. You want to just get better. I mean, they're so fragile. 
and they need us while they're you know while they're young and even when they're older. So I just want to be with them as long as I can. Because that parenting job don't stop when they get grown. I still mm -hmm. have to answer the phone. I still have to do my daily check-ins with them, make sure that they're okay. It never ends. I may get a phone call one, two o'clock in the morning. One of them is going through something and they need me. What if I had not been gifted those kids? Because I do believe my children were a gift from God. He allowed them to come down from heaven just to be with me. Right. I have an obligation to be here and to be the best for me that I can. You do. And that's what matters. Not what people say about us online because I thank you, Coco. Thank you, Vince. Because they're not, they're watching us. And sometimes I think that we get so caught up in social media and it just becomes un, unrealistic. You know what I mean? You got people criticizing you that's not living like you, that haven't been through what you've been through and they're judging you. And uh, they don't, they don't know. Mm -mm. And they don't and really what they're saying. usually in a worse position than what you are. Those are the ones that's judging you, not people that's doing better, but people that's doing worse, look worse, and all that other stuff. Right. And, and this is why I stay on your head, and you stop reading chats and getting triggered. Those people don't know you. Damn a hater. I mean, well, me honestly, if I, if somebody don't hate on me within a forty eight hour period of time, I can cop an attitude. I like my you know, haters. Calm though. I don't know how you guys keep saying like me get triggered. I feel like I'm the easiest, most down to earth person to talk to. And a lot of times when I'm talking to other people, they're in their feelings, and I try to tell them to not be emotional so we can talk. A lot of people don't have that ability. Mm -hmm. That comes to growth. That's some people true. Just realize that some people feel important just by being able to call themselves your enemy, you will learn to ignore them. Mm -hmm. I told her, it's people that wake up every morning, they're so miserable in their own lives. The only thing they can do instead of trying to make their situations better is to come down online and say some of the most disgusting things about you to try to bring you down to where they're feeling because misery loves company. Absolutely. That's right. It's a lot of miserable people on here. It's a lot of people, miserable people online, period, not just this read out. And mm -hmm. their goal every day is to make you feel as bad as they feel. That in real life, if they met you, wouldn't say half of the stuff that they say online. So bold right. and those keyboards when they're in the safety of wherever they're laying their head is. They I won't say that to you in your face, M you half the stuff people say to you. If they came face to face with MU, they not going to say that to you. But they comfortable to say it online because they got a certain level of protection online. Same with you. I would think it's some of the things that people say or they try you with. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, Lady Nika, you're about to coddle them sometimes, blah, blah. But then sometimes when you get upset, you go off. And these people won't say that to your face. They're not even thinking that. They're just saying that because they're behind a, a, a keyboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're safe. They feel safe to say that kind of stuff to you. But if they ran up on me in real life, it would be a totally different story. You wouldn't even have that energy for me that you have for me online. It's a lot of punk ass bitches on this thing, okay? Especially when packing, what did you call it? A heater? It's crazy. Baby, this is the peace that passes all understanding in this purse. Okay. You know what? It's like, because you know, you look at yourself in the mirror every day. You know, no one's going to call you unattractive. No one's going to, you know, talk to you about the stupid shit. Some of the stuff, I'm not even going to repeat some of these storylines that y'all have, but they're just not going to do it. And you really, you, you said it right, that like you really can't worry about what these people are saying. They're protected by a screen and they're not going to come to you with that kind of energy, period. And then they don't provide you with anything that you need in your life. These people, what they saying is not going to stop your literature bill from being paid, your water bill from being paid, your mortgage from being paid, your car notes if you got that. Nothing that they're saying is going to stop your everyday life. So why are you giving them so much of your energy focused on what they're saying? Honest to God, I ain't never been called ugly till I got on YouTube. That's what I was saying to you. You know, you look in a mirror and you know what you look like. I know that nobody has ever called you ugly or unattractive, blah, blah, blah. 
but the people online are going to pick at whatever they think is an insecurity or other people talk about or i don't know why they just say the nastiest things i don't know right. it's uh most of the time it's what they feel about themselves because i don't know you know you always remember your first i remember the first time i got quote unquote dragged on youtube and the reads were you ugly dumb broke stupid bum b-i-t-c-h First of all, let's let's just deal with the ugly broke part. You a whole fool. But even thinking it, and you know what? Full transparency, it hurt my feelings so bad. Like, oh my god, I didn't even do nothing. Why? And I let it get to me. Care. But after that, honey, please say what you will. I know who I am. I remember my first battle on a spaceship. Yeah. Well, you know, in the sector. And everyone was telling me not to go over there, stuff like that. I'm gonna be so depressed. They're gonna slaughter me. And he did. But um, I'm telling you, I felt so much better after getting this shit off my chest. You win some battles and you lose some battles, but you mm -hmm. don't take that shit personal because the minute that you do, you lost. I, and I don't mean like not to let things, how to, it's hard not to take things personal, let's be for real. Mm -hmm. But I mean, don't carry it with you. Right. I felt like I could breathe and I woke up just fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Wu bang when you oh, feel bang. like it. Don't feel like you have anything to prove, like you got to correct some lie that somebody told on you. If you feel like cussing a bitch out, let them have it. But other than that, other than that, don't. But I let a lot of things go. But then there's sometimes, and not everybody is worth your attention. Not everybody. Nope. You should, especially, and I, I'm thinking of the beef sector mostly when I'm thinking about this. I feel like some people are coming to y'all sector and, and think that, oh, okay, and they're new, right? And they're not even beef sector or whatever. And they start a fight with you thinking that that's the way to get in. And that's so organic. That's what I consider a fake beef. It is. Mm -hmm. And I ignore people that do that because they have done it to me before. They have come on here and they come in our sector and they, they will target me sometimes. And I look at them. I first thing I do is go to your channel. And when I see yep. your channel, and then I look at my channel, that's all I had to do. Because I don't I'm not even giving you nothing. I'm not gonna help you build. I'm gonna make you look crazy because you're gonna be doing all these live streams at me and I'll never respond. Not because I don't see you, but because you're not important enough for me to bring you before my audience that I worked hard for. I, my channel is out the mud. When I first started, yeah, I wrote on the back of two other people who are very popular in our sector. But when that divide happened between me and them three, them two people, I started all over again because a lot of people that were subscribed to me did not really subscribe to me. They subscribed to me because I was cool with them other two people. So when we fell out, they picked up their purse or wallets and they left. So I had to start all over again. And now my channel is homegrown. That's my work I put into that. That's my personality. I put into that. That's my blood, sweat, and tears because sometimes I've had tears on this bitch. Even though they say you ain't supposed to cry, I'm a human being. And if I feel like crying, I'm going to cry. You can say I got toiletation feelings if you want to. I call it being human. And that's why people can gravitate to me because they do see the human side of me. I'm not on here trying to make you think that I got millions of dollars in my bank account. I'm a regular person every day living life day to day, just like everybody else. I have my ups mm -hmm. and my downs. I am far from perfect. Never put me on a pedestal because if you do, I'm going to disappoint you because I'm only human. Right. Damn, well said. And I love what you said about going to the other person's channel, see what they have going on. It, it puts you at such a disadvantage because if you respond, it's like you already lost because now you're you're very lost because they got somebody that you know considered a big dog to respond to them mm -hmm. they're gonna get traction to their channel what do you get you're arguing with somebody only to build them up it does you no good and then if you don't respond they can make commentary but there's only so much commentary that they can make and i just don't feel it's worth it i feel like you take the bait if you respond and if you are going to pick a battle with somebody it should be it's, it should be there should be something in it for you or worth it or you guys should already know each other i just don't believe in all this fake beef 
Mm -mm. I don't. I hate that, and I hate that 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 some of that has come to our sector because our beasts have always. One thing about the beef sector, we never ran a script or a play. When we beef, we was beefing for real. We really had issues with one another. We didn't sit behind the scenes and come up with a storyline that we think that the people are gonna enjoy so that we can get clicks and views. I would never ever disrespect the audience that I built by trying to play in their faces like that. You do a big disservice to your people and it's a slap in their face because you're playing on their intelligence. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't play games. If I'm mad at you, I'm mad at you. If I said something to you, I said something to you. But I'm not building up anybody's channel because I had to work hard to get my channel. And I'm still not where I want to be. But I'm so far along than where I was, okay? So I'm grateful for my people. I'm grateful for the folks that, that stuck with me and the times where I couldn't come down and produce content for them or entertain them the way I would like to because I was having life situations happen. I'm never going to disrespect those people by playing in their face, coming on here, making up a beef just for some clicks and views. I'd rather stay off before I bring something fake to you. Hmm. If I don't have something to say in you, I don't go live. I don't give a damn what the algorithm look like. I don't care what them AdSense look like. If I don't have something to talk about, I ain't coming. That's right. This is and I don't like my content to be about other subscribers, all other, uh, other content creators. Yeah, we get into it sometimes, but like my, my channel shouldn't be about who I cussed out today. I don't feel mm. good when I do that. When I do content that I feel like people walk away and they didn't have a good time in the den, I can look back at that and be proud of that. But me just coming on here cussing people out every day, all day, because that's what gives me clicks and views. The day that that's all people are willing to excel from me is the day that I will close my channel. I'll leave this app before I allow this app to turn me into a click and view anything for a click and view type of content creator. No, mm -hmm. that ain't me. And I really don't like the fight. I really don't. I fought so long. I just want to be at peace on my channel and let's talk about what, what interests me and allow people to come up and say what, the, what interests them and we have a conversation or a good time. Either one. But just well, like Nika, you know you can't say that because them that that right there. <laughs> the other day, I don't know if you seen it in your chat. You was coming on. You was coming just to speak and say hi. You said I ain't gonna be here long. I said those are the magic words that mean I'm gonna be here for about four hours. So you can't say I'm only gonna be here. Girl, for like you guarantee. Me go. I can never. I remember I used to get away. Mu. I used to do one hour and I'm gone. I Bree, all of them used to talk so much shit to me. You gotta stay on longer. You gotta drop your link. I, I, I just that wasn't that wasn't what I like to do. I, I just come. I talk about what I want to talk about. I engage a little bit with my audience. We do that in one hour, and I'm gone. But now I cannot do a one hour live to save my life. I ask these people, please let me turn me loose after mm -hmm. an hour. They still hold on to me. Before I know it, I'm there three, four, five hours. I never thought I could do five hour streams. I always thought that was crazy. Like, how the hell is you on live that damn long? And now it, it's like it happens every time. If I didn't mm -hmm. do ODS today, if he didn't say that he, you ready to go live? Cause I'll stop talking so we can leave. You ready? I missed his live, his um, his stream. I had caught a part of it. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was watching your live stream. <laughs> he was like, right. "Well, I that's the only way I got away, and I still did like three hours today. I want to come live and do an hour sometimes so bad." And you, the other thing, y'all, I promise you, as soon as you say I'm tired, I hope I never have to fight again. I just want some peace. The devil gonna send somebody to test your gangster. So just Child, every it time out. I see it, I promise you. And sometimes, you know, newbie, that has happened. That happened recently. Somebody was pulling at me. I'm sure somebody gonna pull at me tomorrow, and that's perfectly fine because I ain't doing it. Uh -uh. Every battle ain't. You don't have to engage in every fight. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. 
Yep. People have said some of everything that known to mankind to me. I have been totally disrespected on this app before, and I lead with respect. Right. It's okay. It still don't stop me from coming live and talking to the people that I like. And I can talk to my people and not even mention another content creator because I try my best not to do it as much as I can. I really don't like to talk about other content creators, especially in a negative light. I don't want nobody feelings hurt by something I say. And I don't know. It seems like when I say something noob and in you, mm -hmm. it just if i i see other people come on they say stuff by people and it don't be no big hoopla i say something it's like it's written in stone these bitches want to go live they want to have a panel discussion about how much of an ancient bitch i am i mean they wear my ass out and i'll be like damn my words hit you that hard and you know what and M, you said earlier that i might not get you i'm telling you i don't go live that often MU and Lady Nick, I'm going to tell you where they come for me. I promise y'all, they love emailing me, all these weird email accounts. They love to email me or put something over on one of my community wall posts. Sometimes I'll delete it or I will just completely ignore it. And I've been tickled this whole, because I said I wasn't even going to mention it because I don't want to give nobody airtime, but I'm going to say it. Baby girl, the other night I was in my kitchen. And I did a little musical live on my way to sleep. I was shutting down. So I was playing my music. I said, oh, well, let me go live and share the music with the people. And some a male content creator hit my panel. And we sat up there and played music back and forth and talked about the music and the mood and the whole thing. No fuss, no muss, boom, bam, ended the live. Well, another live was going on where it was two ladies that was accused of wanting to hump this same male person that i'm talking about why they done threw newbie in the mix you oh, knew we want him too because y'all know who i'm talking about i didn't i didn't see that yeah i don't i'm not familiar i don't know no i didn't see, see it newbie right yeah. in the that one's new to me child they threw a whole man on you so what about your husband so he just ain't nobody huh? i guess he don't matter oh but, yeah, i missed this story like i i didn't hear it just oh my god it. girl you gotta be kidding me just Andrea, I know what you mean. I asked, is this a play too? And I didn't like when they were comparing the B sector to saying that they, you know, run plays and shit. I'm, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And do you feel like well, anything to that individual? But that individual speaks on me like he know me. Really? I'll be like, who the fuck are you? Mm. Wow, so much nastiness in his heart for me, and all I ever did was just not be interested in him. I didn't want to hear nothing he had to say, but I didn't feel like we need to have no conversation. Apologize to me on another channel for saying something that was very hurtful and rude about me. And now, if you go listen to him, he ain't got none of that. He done dog walked all that back, he done backpedaled and pussy popped completely on the apology now i'm the worst of the worst i'm a clicker i'm I, i'm in a cult um i group think um i mistreat people i use mu for in for uh for clicks and views the whole nine y'all you just saw my whole life was about misunderstood oh wow i didn't and hear I, that stream i didn't know he said that but i would he was in the chat i would have brought it i would have addressed it but i didn't hear like how how could that's because oh, one of your moderators took it out but the man said that i look like i had so, uh my lips got burned by a crack pipe mm -mm. Oh, God. You and i want to know when the hell they started looking like that i've never disrespected him when he was in the midst of his cloud chase in the beach sector i never looked at him differently he I never cloud chase with me i never heard you say anything towards him at all in a negative way i but don't I'm say anything about him he mentions me for his clicks and views he's never been able to say there was a time where i went live and i got clicks and views off of his name because i don't need him to get my clicks and views that is that's crazy yeah i missed that my uh benz i didn't see it and you weren't in the chat at that time i didn't see it so i guess my mod spray took it out um but normally i can see it on stream yard but i didn't see nothing like that i'm sorry about that because i feel that i i just never heard you speak on this individual like 
never I never have said anything. The one time I did mention him, I said he got a right if people allow him, just like I said about the Umar boys. If he if people allow him on their panel, then he has every right to come over here. That don't make him beef sector. He's just somebody visiting the sector. He's all right. Let him do that. Now, the way he speaks to women made me block him so he can't mm -hmm. come back over to my house. But that's all I did was block you. I blocked you, and and ever since I blocked you, you have said every ugly thing you can think of about me. And the only thing you can attack is my aesthetics, because you think that it matters now. There's when nothing first, wrong with your aesthetics. Go ahead. There's nothing wrong with it, but go ahead. He don't think nothing wrong with it either, but he think I'm one of them weak ass women on here who will allow what he say to stop me from being who I am or doing the content I want to do. I I don't have nothing for him. I don't have nothing good to say about him. I don't have nothing bad to say about him. I just, he's not my type of person. I don't want to have a YouTube ship. I don't even want to deal with you. I won't even be on the same panel as you. you if he was on the panel tonight, I would have left. You were doing like this dance in your intro, and I'm not for you. Oh, God. I know I can't do the dance. I'm not going to try to do it. You are grooving, okay? And... I'm just like, you know, you're just like in your zone, in your element. And I think because you don't really, and that really, I was trying to do the dance, but I, I never mind. My point was, I think people try to take you out of your zone sometimes because that's so left field and there's no reason to bring that up. And I like seeing you just in your element. Like when you're doing your thing, you don't bother nobody. No. You know? And sometimes you respond to people and they may not like how you respond, but I don't ever see you going after anybody. But when you do respond, it can hurt some people, but damn. But you know, Emu, I don't even be thinking that what I be saying be that hard. I really don't. I've asked so many people, including Bree. I said, Bree, you, why is it that when I say some people take it to heart? Why do what I say matter so hard to them? It's like I say something and they, they feelings will be hurt for years. They will carry this shit inside of them. And then one day we have a conversation and we get to the bottom of why I said what I said and it's all good. But you have walked around with that on your heart all this time. Every mean thing you said to me has been a direct result of something I said. And what really hurt them is when I stop communication. When they can't come in their den, they got to sit in them clouds. That be bothering them. I did not know a block button could get people in their feelings like that. Yes, it can. That's I, said, I blocked you so I didn't have to, you know, mess you up. But it ain't because of fear and it's just some people that have done things to me that i won't ever unblock them as long as i'm on this app you'll be blocked i don't want to have anything to do with you and i'm respectful enough to not be in your bushes it's somebody on here right now i wish i would get in her bush hmm. really hmm. and that's the thing and 504 just said it now i'm still learning how to navigate youtube okay Cause I'll be bringing my real life experience and, and how I move in real life. I, I try to move that way over here and I'm under, I'm beginning to understand that it, I, I can't. So I'm still learning how to move over here. But in my experience, lady Nika, when you get all in somebody's undergarments like that, and they think so much of your opinion, whatever it's because you matter. That's why your opinion matter because to that person, you freaking matter. Good, bad, or indifferent and lord don't start ignoring them it'll kill them i know and i don't understand that i see what you said 504 they think that way because we hold you to a high regard because of your history longevity and wisdom and i appreciate that but y'all just don't know i don't i don't i don't see that in me i i we on the same we on even playing fields I don't think that I'm no better than nobody else, but I don't think nobody better than me either. I feel like we all on the same level and I appreciate the respect that people give me. I truly do, but I really do not be understanding it because I'm just, I'm just one woman over here in this corner 
trying to do the best I can to entertain you and to share what I want to share. I told y'all, YouTube is my digital footprint for my children when I'm no longer here. Thank y'all for the cash apps. I was trying to pull it up. I'm sorry, my phone is frozen, but thank y'all for the cash apps. I appreciate that. Um, Lady Nika, oh God, it's just hard because you have to really, really, you just, there's just so much that we go through and you sit out here giving your commentary and you just have to, what are we supposed to do? I mean, we got feelings. I think that people take what you say to heart because they, you know, you're so transparent uh, and you're so like relatable when you're live. And so I think they get hurt when you're, when you're not. What's, hi friend. Do y'all know what I'm trying to say? That didn't come out well mm -hmm. at all. I think they get hurt. And then when you do respond, it's harsh. And then they feel like you're not going to, I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. I just don't be understanding. I'm just like, I'm one of the most easy peasy content creators on the planet on this on this app i i have a very forgiving heart i don't hold things against people but when you cross me in a certain way and i say i'm done i mean that i'm done and i don't return to you at all right. people be so mad at me baby if you you think that i done came in their house and stole their firstborn <laughs> damn i i've seen the battles and i'm not gonna lie when you're going off I would like to say I wasn't in the clouds listening, but damn, I was up there. <sighs> but you know, you would be harsh. I mean, I feel like, uh oh, sorry, uh, Sue. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm talking to my sister. Do it yeah. really be my words hit like that? I mean, you can drive, yes. My sister sitting on the side of me, talking about, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My yeah, words, she like thank you, well. Benzo. Benzo said, continue to be genuine. That's it. I ain't gonna change nothing, beans. I'm gonna say my shit, and I'm gonna be still loving on the people. Cause you but can tell people what you gotta say without hurting them or breaking them down. And if I break you down, tell them, let me tell you what I do. I never break a bitch down without extending a hand to lift them up. I learned that from Funky Dineva. But let so me say this, Lady down. Nika, on on in that same vein. Let me say this: the the time, the one time that you was mad at me. Yes, it hit hard, but you was real enough to say, newbie, I'm mad at your ass too, because blah, blah, blah. And there were people in your chat trying to push that, and yep, newbie faking all that. You know, I, I'm always in the chat. And it stung. But at the end of the day, I also know who I am. And I said, okay, it's a misunderstanding. She got a right to her feelings. Because my thing was, how dare you think that I would do you like that? Oh, my God. But I had to jump back and say, okay. I'm going to let her have her feelings, but I know that's not who I am. And then what happened? We talked about it. We got an understanding and we moved on. So you can't take all of, of the responsibility of how somebody else digests your words because they got to know who they are too, if that makes sense. All right. What you eating, MU? I was just about to ask y'all if this looks done. I should have, wait a minute. I'm eating some salmon and I... Wait, y'all can't see it because my bright ass light. Hold on. Wait, does this look done, y'all? It... Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. You could eat it. You ain't gonna be so no, I'm brown skinned, but I have this bright ass light in my face for my camera, and I gotta fix that. All right, y'all. That's so I'm eating some seven. Hey Shani. Newbie, why you keep bringing up old stuff? Benza comments, good. Newbie, can't see where you going if you don't know where you've been. That's right. I was just having a moment that day. I told you, don't listen to me, girl. It's all right. I understood it. Sometimes I just I do that. I don't know. I just it hit me. Especially if I care. Okay. And I ain't gonna be fake. Go get the chair that you like to sit in. Okay. Shiny, okay. I'm glad you still got the bracelet. I think you still got the bracelet. Me and Nico, we still gotta do our cooking thing. Now, some of y'all talk about my salmon, but listen, this is the healthiest thing that you can eat. One of the things. But um, before I start this new school program, I would like to get in the kitchen, and I can't really compete with Lady Nico. Let's well, I can, but no, we just gonna. <laughs> We can cook. 
right? Make some collard okay. greens. You don't make salmon? Okay, Papa Four. Make some collard greens or some um. I've been wanting some fried catfish lately. Mm. Okay, you want to do greens and catfish? Yeah, I think so. Just greens and catfish and a salad. That's it. Simple. Because we can get in there, do something like that, and get out. Like, that should take, what, like, 45 minutes? 45 minutes to an hour. Because, you know, we're going to be talking shit in between state. And I'm be laughing because you be k- k- killing me in the kitchen. So, say about an hour. Yeah, that'll be about an hour-long broadcast if we go on and pray. That'll be fun. We can do that. I, I wanted to do it. I was mad at you, I think, at the holiday time. I don't know. Yeah, I, was, I was supposed to help her uh, shop and get the stuff that she needed because, Lord, we need to get her some right shit in that kitchen. And oh. you was going to help her with the... And, boy, y'all was going at it. I said, look at, look, at this, look at this young shit here. I don't know what M you did to me. <laughs> no, Lady Nika, you did something to me. Girl, what I do to you? No, what's my? I don't know. You ain't writing down. I lost one of my notebooks, but we're. If this was October. I don't know what what holiday. November. Yeah, November. We were supposed to do when we supposed to do the marathon live for Thanksgiving. There was a lot going on about November. Mm. I don't know what M you did something to me, y'all. I don't know what she did. I never do anything to you. That's why I mean. I I I feel. Can I say that? what she did to me? I know you remember <laughs> what, what you did. I remember it too, but I ain't saying nothing. Y'all no, work it out. We're, we're moving forward and we're not going backwards. There's no okay. need to do for the past. I know you did something to me. I, I know I got mad because I had my stuff. I was ready. <laughs> no. Then I got mad. And I said I'm not going over her house. Damn it. No, five oh four. She hard headed. She hard headed as hell. You can't tell her nothing. Johnny, who's hard headed? Lady Nika. I know you. You. Oh, you. 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 I can't be, but I'm working on my. I mean, I don't have a temper or anything like that. But last year was, you know, into kind of crazy. Oh and yeah, it was a lot going on. I think I'm starting to remember, girl. We're gonna yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that there. Mm. Yeah, so we weren't cooking nothing. I, I think I, what did I do? Did I do any comps? I, no, I don't think I did. And I, I actually paid you on my community wall to ask you, even though I was mad. I said some small shit in it, but I tagged you on my community wall. Like I said, something like, Hilfa, do you still want to cook or are you over there still acting a fool? And I <laughs> asked you. <laughs> as hell, but I was like, "Damn, how am I gonna respond if I respond?" She gonna respond back. I was like, "Did I got mad because she ain't respond?" Said, oh. <laughs> determined to not come on for a minute. Like, yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Last year was crazy, but um, I remember that post, and I was mad as hell. But I was thinking, how am I gonna respond without her responding back? I, I don't know. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. She getting them little fifis, Nika, and she just goes. She came at me hot one day. I don't even remember the conversation, but she thought I was talking about her man. I was talking about men in general. She hit that panel like, as a black woman, you should. I said, wait a minute, slow down, driver. <laughs> I don't know because when I, I told you, M, you've been riding us too long. She acts just like we do, child. We be over here going off and shit. And I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when she go off, I love it. I get my kiki. Because you be reading so hard and it flows so effortlessly. I said she mm. she got that shit together. She got it together. I just like oh, but afterwards I don't remember what the hell. That's so why I'm like on Monday, y'all don't don't hold me to it. I don't know. I don't Child, know. I thought you and Uppity was about to go at it in here tonight. When you said oh, something, Miss Uppity. Yeah. I said, oh, am you girl? But you you said what you said, and hopefully everything is all right. But I thought y'all were gonna get the organ out and say, "Oh Lord, how I fix this?" <laughs> See that first thing in my head: how can I fix this if they get the organ? And mm-hmm. I'm always trying to be the peacemaker. I be pissing people off. You are. I gotta do that too. You are a peacemaker, and. So, uh, just a couple times I could see how some people I mean I don't agree with it but 
kind of took it, what you were trying to say the wrong way. And I was like, damn, you were trying to bring peace to a situation. But I appreciate that about you. With Uppity, Uppity grew on me. And I like Uppity. But it doesn't, I mean, but it doesn't mean we won't bump heads sometimes. Because sometimes she says she says things that it's going to take me there. And I probably do the same for her. But, you know, I like Uppity. I love her confidence and all that shit. Hell yeah, I love her confidence. She grew on me too. And now, you know, things have went level with her and Brie. I say I ain't getting this shit. I'm still going to enjoy her for what I enjoy her for. I don't want to have nothing to do with that situation. I'm not going to be there, you know, when they just beating each other up. But I enjoy up there. Up there makes me laugh. She makes mm -hmm. me laugh too. And I hope that it does. I, I think that in time it'll blow over. Um... In the meantime, they just stay in their in their corners. But I'm gonna watch Brie. I'm gonna watch Uppity. I'm not choosing. So, and I'm glad that I'm enjoying this more. I used to, you know, really didn't go in this chair because I didn't feel like fighting. And then I felt like, you know, I don't want to be sitting here. And then this drag, she go to drag, and me, I'm gonna feel a trigger. So I wouldn't go. Now I'd be like, Miss Stay, I don't care what Miss Stay. I'm still coming over there and sit down in her chat and speak and everything. I don't give a damn. Go where I want to go. Exactly. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, Ness, Ness, Ness gets into her, you know, her commentary and her, you know, her stuff. But it it's it's nice to see you guys in each other's chats like that. Like, I enjoy this it. This is not malicious. And once I realized the things that was coming out of her mouth wasn't said to be malicious, she's just doing her YouTube thing doing her YouTube and I began to understand and it didn't affect me but at first I took everything personal as a personal attack on me I felt like she didn't like me and that bothered me but once she explained to me what it is we've been on an even keel even if she happened to do one of her impression impressions of me it doesn't matter to me because I'm not gonna change I'm I mean, always talk like this with my southern dialect because I am southern, not southern. I'm southern. There's a difference. You gotta embrace it. It's like people are gonna. I know what people. If I get into, it, I know what people are gonna say about me. They're gonna call me methy, junkie, blah blah blah. They're gonna call me whatever. And I do. I care. Now I can't change what I've been through. But with Ness, she's not malicious. I don't think I've ever heard her refer to me like that. And she's. I feel like if you can laugh about things with yourself, then it takes the power away from other people. But Ness isn't trying to be malicious. She's doing her YouTube thing. I really it. And I knew she was, I said, this girl crazy. Ness was up there dragging and bust out laughing her damn self. I said, that's how you know. She don't mean this shit. She just doing her YouTube thing. Because she will bust out laughing even when they talking about it. She, she done roasted her damn self. I know. She is that is the funniest thing when she roast herself. I die because she she be hard down laughing. I be like, you have you to laugh at yourself. yourself. Yeah, you have to laugh at yourself. I mean, when I thought, and you commented on this picture, and I was wearing those blonde dreads, I got roasted on a tracker. Ness played that video, and I could have sworn that she was gonna compliment my hair. You know. <laughs> 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 my video talking shit. I was like, whatever. Okay, so I thought I looked good. I'm like, and honestly, I wanted it bigger. But, yeah, you jumped. Yeah, in right I there. enjoy being over there with Nia. She's a she's the firecracker, but I kind of done softened up a little bit, and I don't take it personal with her now. I just know she's doing her YouTube thing, and I laugh along with her, regardless of what she's saying, because I know she's not coming from a malicious place. And that no. makes a difference, because being in a beast sector, you're going to get roasted. I roasted myself before. And I laugh like a mug. M you can't nobody drag me like I can drag myself. Okay. Right? <laughs> it's funny to hear that kind of stuff. Like, and it, it's like it just keeps the commentary light. But you know, like, I mean, I love the way that you talk. But some people, I mean, I, I think a southern drawl is the cutest thing. Okay, and it's like okay, make fun of yourself. That's gave me an ultimatum. I don't take. What you talking about, Benz? Oh, the 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 wrench. Oh. Thing. I did catch. Your com I did catch your commentary. I thought I commented under your commentary. <laughs> I caught that last too. I caught that commentary about that being and I stayed in them bushes. 
because I like you both and I'm not making no comments, but you know I'm be there when you live. All you really got to do to test it is just say my name and I'm going to drop down. Then you're going to know I was there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm in a lot of you guys' lives, especially after my brother passed. I look for laughs wherever I could get them. And I would go into people's lives and I would just sit there and I wait for the laugh. And and Pizarro will never fail me. She always gonna come through with that bad vocabulary and give me <laughs> one. I love it. I would go everywhere. I was over at James' house. I don't know who he was talking about or what he was talking about, but I know he can make me laugh. I was seeking laughs from wherever I can get them. And the beef sector did help me through the, a lot of that. I'm still going through my you know grief is a process but mm -hmm. y'all brought me out of a lot of dark days where all i was in here doing was crying to myself i cut on one of y'all channels and i'm instantly laughing again it ain't nothing like laughing that's why i stay i love to laugh that's one of my favorite things to do right i love you on mute girl Oop. You muted ate that salmon and went blank on us, baby. Bro, I didn't know. Okay. I was talking for a minute. I saw, yeah, I made a lot of it, which I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, I think that um, it's always cute when you can laugh at yourself. This salmon and made me sleepy, y'all. I told you, and you the itis. I saw it in your eyes. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's the, he gave you the items. I saw it when he got you. Them mm -hmm. eyes went low. I said, Daddy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> it is so I don't I don't I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm tired. So so I'm do it for you, baby. I'm telling you it'll, it'll change your whole day. The, oh yeah. And it and it there's something about it, it really does make you feel better. Um, it makes other people feel better that's around you. I love to laugh. You live now, Pizarro? Oh, she's live? Wait, MU, Nika, MU, I can't come live. I'm live. Okay, let's go over there, you guys. I'm okay. gonna go. Right. Uh, All right, here. thank you for having me up, MU. I'm thank glad you. we had a conversation. I'm going to stand by my word with you. And, Nubi, you know I love you. And uh, I'll be uh, probably hitting you up because I'm going to forget the name of this thing that you got, but I want to order that this week. Okay. Well, just hit me up. And MU, I so appreciate you for letting us come up here and talk. And just for the ones that don't know, it's it's a little thing where they waiting on. It's certain people that pick at me because they want to be the first one to make Miss Newby come off the porch. Keep fucking with my lady. And y'all going to watch me jump straight off the porch into the middle of the street. I love y'all. <laughs> All right, love you too. Thank you, and you for letting us come up. I appreciate you, newbie. Thank you, Lady Nika. I love you. I love you too. And I got you, girl. I got you. All righty. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. I support me, sub Lady Nika, as well. I am bothered by something I saw in the back chat, but I'm going to handle that on the back end. Um, whew, you guys, I really appreciate you guys. Please drop Pizarro's link. We're going to go over there. Okay, there's her link to her conspiracy channel. I'm going to go there. <laughs> Lady Nika, Brooke, and Newbie, thank y'all for coming up. And it just really meant a lot that I could have that conversation with Lady Nika. I support her. I love her. And um, it's all good now. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'll see y'all at Miss Pizarro's. All right, Benz. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.